says we're live. Are we live? Mm -hmm. Oh, I sure did do a preview. I feel like I plastered myself all over the flipping internet. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody, <laughs> to, uh, to the situation, to the gemstone sale here at SG. Really happy to see you guys. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've been lo looking forward to it, too. Um, we have beautiful things I was sharing in the preview. We've got some stuff that even, like, like we get excited about stuff when it's things that we haven't seen before or, like, new forms of things that we haven't seen. So it's really nice to see you. Um, if you ever want the preview before the sale, you can go on Instagram to our story. I always do a preview there. And then, or you can go on to the event page, and I always do a preview there, too. Crystal Scar is just here for the energy, girl. Well, thank you for that, Miriam. I really appreciate that. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a gloomy day here in L.A. Like, we might actually have a storm, which almost never happens here. If the sky is threatening to do it. I don't, I don't believe it. I haven't seen any rain yet, so we'll see. <laughs> so this is, this is our crystal party. We have a lot of fun. We hope you guys do, too. I'm joined by Kelsey, Hannah, and Alexis, who are my squad for all things gem sales. Um, and if you're here, I'm glad that you're here. Um, a couple of things as a holiday gift, anybody whose invoices total $500 or more from tonight's sale is going to get a gift from me, um, either a piece of jewelry or a crystal or something, but personally chosen and selected for you by me. And so that's kind of a fun extra thing. That's my way of an extra holiday gift just for you. Because you might be buying gifts tonight. I would be shopping for gifts tonight. If I wasn't here doing the thing, I would be here watching the thing and doing holiday shopping. So that's one fun thing to tell you. Um, is anybody new? I always like to ask, because a lot of you are my veterans, which I love. I'm so glad that my veterans are here. But sometimes we have new faces, and I want to make sure that everybody kind of knows what we're doing and how this works. Anybody new? I want to say hello to you. Hope is new. <laughs> Uh, Renee Hilton is not new. I don't believe you, darling. So Brittany's new. Carla's new. Alex. Claudia's old, like me. Amanda. Look at that. Monique. And Sugar Pine is new. Danny's new. So welcome, everybody. I want to explain. And Biffy Rose is in Australia, one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, how this works. So I'm going to show you things, and you can buy those things. As soon as I tell you what the item is and how much it costs and you see Team SG put the name of the item in the, and the cost of the item, then you can say sold and it will belong to you. 24 hours from now, you're going to get an invoice. And so that's why I was saying anybody with invoices of $500 or over is going to get something special from me as a holiday thank you. <laughs> so welcome if you're new. I've got my old camera today. I'll tell you why. I couldn't, I couldn't see the comments. We're just not sure how it's going to work. So I've got my old camera because I really wanted to make sure I, I do read your comments. I mean, when I'm looking at you like here, it's kind of hard to track every single comment, but I really do my best to um, to be present to what you're saying. So it was, uh, wasn't was working out so well yesterday, but we'll see. We're going to try and figure it out. I can see you, Heidi Cruz. And yesterday I couldn't. So um, this is one of the things that's coming in the sale tonight, and I'm going to explain this to you. I actually need to move it over. Can you help me move that over? I'll when we get to the time because they can't see the grid that's on top so we will move it for you um we that's do, right uh, before we get going we yeah. do have to uh make an announcement okay that anyone who does not pay their invoice yes two times uh, yeah oh yeah that's right times, uh, we'll we had we had we had some naughty we you know honestly i would tell you something i'm a, i'm amazed we really don't have people who don't pay their invoices it does not happen very often but we've had a couple of naughty nellies and so if you don't pay your invoice we reserve the right to ban you from the sale you will be banned you can still watch you just you can watch you just can't buy anything because you've been a naughty nelly that's right because the first time it's shame on you second time it's shame on us so we just can't do that yeah plus there are people who want the things so the good news is in all of the cases where people haven't paid their invoices we've had people saying i'm on backup or i want that so that the items still go to their homes but, you know, what if the person forgets or... So anyway. <laughs> I'm glad you like your lamp. Well, wait till you see what we're doing tonight with the lamps, Andrew. We're going to, like, up the ante over here. That's right. No naughty Nellies. 
but um, but really, in all sincerity, we have such a great community. I mean, I'm I'm blessed beyond words. Most people are just so they pay their invoice right away, and you know, it's 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 a clean thing. So don't get on the naughty list. And of course, if there is an emergency and you reach out to us, we're not going to Yeah, us. yeah. I mean, you, if you're having an issue, let us know. But these are people who just like never communicate ever again. None of our friends are on the list. You know what I mean? These are these are people who kind of like fly in, fly out kind of thing. So we just ask that you please pay. Um, these are bulbs that we specially get for our lamps. They're like rainbow chakra bulbs. So it comes with your lamp. Isn't that kind of exciting? Okay. Any other announcements we need to make, Alexis, before I lock and load? Okay. Um, so we're going to go through all of these beautiful things tonight. Part of my intention is to teach you to. So have a notebook. If you're new, you're going to learn about the metaphysical properties and also the stories of a lot of these different crystals and they're fascinating stories. I was going to show you something on my laptop so I may have you guys when we get to the stalactites grab my laptop. Actually it's okay we may not need to show it but I have an image of of an actual cave with the stalactites that we're offering to you tonight. It's kind of cool to see how they grow. So um, yeah you're going to hear some cool stories and learn some cool tricks and tips and metaphysical processes too. So we're delighted that you're here. Okay. With no further ado, shall we begin? Yes. Okay. Did I hear you say black seraphonite rings? Oh, yes, you did. Okay. Well, we're going to begin with one of my favorite rings of the show. Honestly, if there is jewelry in the show, you know I love it because we, we cherry pick every single stone. So all three of tonight's rings are magnificent. But this is a stone that I had never, I had, never had before and certainly not in jewelry. So I kind of was super excited about it and I figured you would be too. This is golden seraphonite. And just like the green seraphonite, it comes from Siberia, on the Siberian Peninsula. Um, and just like the green seraphonite, it's incredibly hard to access because that region is covered in ice for most of the year. And so that's part of the reason that seraphonite is expensive and there's not a lot of it in the marketplaces. It's just incredibly difficult to mine. So there are different shapes and sizes. I'm going to show them to you mostly ovals and tears and all of our rings by the way are adjustable they're all done in 925 sterling silver you can pinch them down to be about a size three and a half to four or you can open it up to be about a 10 and so there really is a lot of flexibility in the sizing which everybody's loving and they're really good quality um sterling too so they don't it's not like you're going to bend it and break it right you can you can size this up and size this down as many times as you want Okay, so black seraphonite is an interesting one because green seraphonite is for the heart chakra. This is for the earth star chakra. This connects you with earth angels. You know, seraphonite is named for the seraphim, which is the highest order of angels, right? And so it's thought to be a stone that connects you with angelic energy that helps to raise that frequency. Also helps you with um, deeper trance states and astral projection if you do any of that. Or lucid dreaming work is really good for for seraphonite. Aren't they beautiful? So it's just, it's, and I really hope you can see because it's the golden color. It's like little, little flashes. I want to make sure you can see the, it's, it's really a black base but it's got these sort of golden flecks or flashes of light and it's they're so beautiful and it's very calming very soothing that's been my experience of wearing mine um i actually prefer the oval because i like to wear a ring like this on my middle finger and i just i'm always drawn to ovals i don't know why that is not that the tear isn't pretty but it's not when i have a choice between a tear and an oval i prefer an oval um aren't they fun okay so we have which number is this one darling that is number Oh, I 25. see 25. We have 50 of these. Um, and the prices tonight are, are really, really, really good, I will tell you. I mean, it's this is hard to find anyway. Um, so our original price on this was 139 I have 50 of these. They are 99 And remember, of course, everything in gem sale, the shipping is included if you're in the U.S. And if you're not in the U.S., you just have to add $5. And we will ship this ring anywhere in the world that you would like it to go. How beautiful. One of the rarest stones I've brought you this year. I, I see a lot of jewelry, you know, I mean, in my travels going to the gem shows, I've never seen a golden seraphonite ring. Have you? It's kind of cool. And I love seraphonite anyway. Um, so to be able to find it in a new color that has really a different energetic 
energy to it. I mean, it has a different vibration to it. And it's much more soothing and stabilizing. Green seraphonite is heart opening and heart awakening, but it's not grounding. It's not stabilizing. It doesn't help. This feels like um, it's very soothing. It would be good if you had anxiety of any kind or kind of nervousness. This would be a very calming, very centering stone. Isn't that pretty? I'm glad you guys like it. So we will let you know. We will come back and let you know who got those. But congratulations. I love that ring. This is the one I had on earlier. If you don't mind, one of you who's getting an oval, I'm going to wear your ring for the rest of the show because I like it. Oh, I love this one too. Okay. This bad boy right here. <laughs> what number is this one, Alexis? That? Oh, I see. 20, 23. Oh, 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I only have one of these. It is petrified wood. But I want to show it to you because I've never seen petrified wood like this. So I want to teach you, first of all, about obelisks. Obelisks are a very specific type of generator, and I'll tell you why I love them. An obelisk has uh, the number three, because it's if you think about it, it's a pyramid on top, so it's all these three-sided faces. But then it has the cube on the bottom and represents the magic of the number four. So it combines those energies, four being the number of completion, right, foundation. You think about 2020 coming up as a four year in numerology, which is a year of building uh, strong and solid foundations. And then three, which is what 2019 has been. 2019 has been a three year. So this is almost a piece that represents your transition from where you are today or what you've experienced or learned this year and then where you're headed next, where we're all headed next, right? Not fun. I love teaching you about crystal shapes. By the way, I'm going to tease you, um, but it's not really a tease. And in a couple of weeks, you'll hear more about it. For the first time ever, I'm teaching crystal healing in 2020. Um, you guys have asked me to do it for a long time, and I really had to wait till the time was right and my inspiration was right and so in 2020 there's going to be a brand new class called crystal masters uh, that you'll be able to sign up for on its own you can of course do soul shift and pillars of priestessing which is my bigger program but you can also just do my crystal healing class and i'm going to be teaching you about all the shapes all the tools and it's going to be very live and dynamic i'm going to teach you how to grid your home grid your bedroom grid your um, you know, anything that you want, anywhere you want to create healing space, how you set up a healing sanctuary, how to work with chumpies, how to work with Vogels, why you choose a Vogel over a double terminated wand that has four sides, for example. So we're going to go into all of that. So yeah, so if you're in Soul Shift, you're going to automatically be in Crystal Masters. But let's say you're new and you don't know if you want to take all those classes, you'll be able to do Crystal Masters on its own. Isn't that exciting? So stay tuned. More information is going to be coming about registration in just a couple of weeks. Okay, so one of these gentlemen, I want to show you the colors. It has a lot of different little portals in it. I want you to notice this one right here. So interesting thing about petrified wood, it has the same measure of hardness scale as quartz. And the reason is it's made up of a lot of quartz. Did you know that? Over time, so this was once a tree. And over time, all of the organic parts of that tree, the bark and the water, residual water in that wood slipped away and, and agatized and filled with silicon dioxide, which is quartz. And so this is a six and a half to seven on the measure of hardness scale because it's primarily at this point in its degeneration made up of, of quartz. And that's why it feels like a stone, it smells like a stone, it walks like a stone, it talks like a stone, right? So most of our petrified wood, great question, Teresa Jolly, most of our petrified wood now comes from Madagascar. That's going to be your primary source. It's not the only source for petrified wood, but it's the primary one in, in the world. And it tends to produce these sprays of color, everything from pink to burgundy and brown and maroon. I have a petrified wood sphere at home, and you literally can see the entire spectrum of the rainbow in it. It's so incredibly beautiful. Super grounding. I mean, kind of enjoying having him here, I have to say. I always need grounding. Um, so this is, our regular price on this was $1.99. It's 15 inches tall and it's heavy. It's $1.49, but I only have one. So congratulations to whoever is taking my boyfriend home because he really does have a very stable, gentle energy. <laughs> it's a really good deal on this piece. Um, I don't even have a petrified wood obelisk or generator this size. So you have trumped me if you get this one today. Isn't that beautiful? 
Congratulations. So we'll let you know who got that too. I love him. If I could have gotten more, I would have. It has a Made in Madagascar sticker on it too for you. <laughs> okay. Speaking of um, grounding, stabilizing, healing, clearing, purifying, all the things you want in a crystal, right? I have for the first time in, I don't even know how long, Alexis, I mean, it's it's been a long time. So I'm really excited to teach you about Golden Sheen Obsidian tonight. Um, Golden Sheen Obsidian comes only from Mexico and it actually grows with the other kinds of obsidian, but the difference is the level of gases in the mine is what dictates whether it's Golden Sheen, Silver Sheen, Mahogany, Rainbow, Velvet, Black, right, which are all the sort of different flavors and variations of obsidian. But here's what's really interesting. Um, in, my, in my travels and in my research, what I've learned is the Aztecs, um, who called this obsidiana, right? Or the, there is even a Nahuatl word that takes it back to its original origins, really felt that this was a spiritual purifier. They considered obsidian to be the most sacred of all stones because they thought it was pure fire, like untainted fire, the essence of fire from God. And so the Aztecs would use it to purify evil spirits from the body, to purify homes and spaces, right? Um, so, but I haven't had spheres for you in so long. Here's what's really cool about this. The same um, family that mined this also carved it for you. So it's, and, and when that happens, when we get the stone from the source and they do the carving and they do the polishing, the energy is pure. And then these came directly to us. So golden sheen obsidian is really good for shadow integration. It's good for purifying your aura. It also heals and seals up tears or perforations in your in your aura, which can happen. I mean, your aura gets bombarded with energy every day. So even just having an argument or a scuffle with someone in your life can cause a tear or a perforation. Um, grief and sorrow can cause tears and perforations in your energy field too. They sort of weaken your energetic response. So this heals all of that. So it's one of my favorite stones. Um, our original price on these was $99. They are three and a half inches. I have 48 of them and they are $79. And what's really cool is it's coming to you on a clear quartz sphere stand to magnify all of that purification, releasing, healing, sealing energy yeah, it's a really good deal. The sphere stand is worth, I think, $10 on its own. So it's that's coming to you as a gift. So enjoy. It's one of the best stones uh, for shadow work, integration work. I want to try and see if I can show you the sheen because it kind of just sparkles on the surface. And it's all these little like lines that come together to create this golden sheen that runs across the face. You can see it right there. And this one has the sheen all the way around and you can use these for scrying too. You know, and scrying is a divination process where you let your vision kind of get soft. You know, you kind of zone out a little bit. And if you do that for long enough and keep gazing into the sphere, you can start to see like shapes or images. Some people see faces. Um, it's a very relaxing meditation too. So this is one of my favorite stones. I'm glad you guys are excited about it too. Okay. Next up, and we'll come back and do winners in just a minute. Are you guys having fun? We, uh, we do have sales on Fridays on our website at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We, we launch a whole series of listings that you can go and buy. You know, and, and the nice thing about the gem sales is you are buying the piece or the pieces that you see, right? So we do. We have this sale every other Tuesday from 3 to 5.30-ish. And then on Fridays at 5 p.m., you can shop on the website, too. Kind of fun. Okay, these are, what number, this is 22, I think, yeah. Yes. Okay, I want to show this to you. Do these come out or they're stationary? I think they're stationary. Are they? They might be, huh? Well oh, they are. Yeah, no, they are really connected. Okay, um, so I'm not going to take it out to show you because it is connected, but that's good. I mean, you really don't want to use it on its own anyway. I don't. I like it on the stand. So these are um, agate slices with portals in them. And I'll tell you why that um, is important. It's not just beautiful, which it really is. These always remind me of white owls, which probably sounds really weird, but I love white owls. My family has um, a lot of experiences with UFO abduction <laughs> and visitation. 
And um, the members of my family who've had those experiences always see white owls before it happens, which is kind of a common um, story that you hear with people who've been visited by extraterrestrial beings. Um, really, you too, Bethany, isn't that interesting? Best stone for scrying Happy Hippie is what I was just talking about with obsidian. That's my favorite stone for scrying. It's the most traditional stone for scrying, too. So if you do get one of those spheres tonight, you'll have a great scrying tool. Okay. It's not just beautiful. It is beautiful, though. So this is agate with quartz, and it looks like snow. Do you see how it's like little sugar crystals in there, that portal? And the stand has been custom made for each one of these pieces. So it's beautiful for display. My favorite thing to do, by the way, if you do get one of these, put a candle in front of it. It, the light reflects back up on the crystal and it just brings all of this sugary magic to life. So if you do get one, make sure that you put a candle in front of it. Remember, remind me, or remember that I was reminding you to do that. Okay, the reason this portal on the front is important is you can journey with a stone like this by visualizing entering through here. Stones that have these you know, quartz, druzy windows, or sometimes you'll find them in different variations in different stones, but when they have this little pocket, we call it a portal. And you can have a very powerful shamanic journey by imagining going within into that stone and letting that stone take you back to its origin. Where did it come from? What is its story? What is its history, right? So if you like to work with portals, you can also use this as a portal keeper. When you open a portal, agate is very protective. Agate's mentioned in the Bible. If you've read my book, Crystal Lore, you probably have read the section about agate. It's very protective, was thought to protect travelers in particular, which is why it's such a good stone for shamanic journey work. Aren't they fun? This would be a great gift for somebody too, because agate also attracts loving kindness to you. So I don't know anybody who doesn't really need more of that, right? Um, okay, so I have 14 of these. Our original price was $149. Our price tonight, $111. $111 for what is really a beautiful and dimensional agate slice. But they all have this sort of like snow owl, white owl portal on them. So these have all been cherry picked because they have those markings. And now you know why, because to me it reminds me of just big magic. And if you do any kind of shamanic journey work, this is going to be a good ally for you too. This would even be a beautiful centerpiece for a journey altar, um, would be one thing you could do with it, right? And surround it with white candles and my imagination gets the best of me, but I really do love seeing pieces like this being, being used and being used as centerpieces in your sacred decor, wherever that is, you know, whatever space you've got carved out. Aren't they beautiful? I know. Yeah, 111 is a super magical number. I like that too. I do have amethyst tonight. I have amethyst jewelry tonight. So if you love amethyst, stay tuned. And congratulations if you're getting one of my portals. It's kind of a long name for it, but I feel like I want to call it the White Owl Agate Portal Journey Magic. Yeah, I like <laughs> yeah, Alex is just like I was, yeah. I was like what are we going to do next and then I realized you were talking <laughs> yeah I actually was looking at you I know. I like no, it was awkward all. we're good yeah, I love that um, do you want to do Smithsonite mm. rings or surprise bags Smithsonite rings or surprise bags she asks me hmm. well Britt Pyle just asked if we have surprise bags and Sarah Rose just voted so did Helena they all voted for surprise bags? Yeah, they did. I'm not surprised at that. <laughs> Alexis, Alexis is even cute when she has, like, a corny joke. <laughs> Which you do sometimes. You do, like, a little mom joke sometimes. I have mom jokes all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> hmm. A little play on words. Hmm. Oh, yeah, She's still cute when she does that. have to deal with it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they love it, though. Um... So Sherry, Sherry Cass asks, what's a surprise bag? Girl, <gasps> buckle up. <laughs> uh, you are in for a treat and a half. So surprise bags, the way they work, and this one, this time we have 50? Yeah, it's line, sorry, I just had it. Um, oh, you're good. Li line 19. Oh, here we go. I have 50 of these, and so the price is $100, and you get a minimum of, we always say 150 to 2 but it's really, it's really 
$200 worth of goods that come in the bag. And so it's all int intuitively chosen. And our theme, we always have a theme. This month our theme is holiday peace, which means that your entire family will survive this holiday season, may even continue to speak to each other after this holiday season is over. When I was growing up, like my family is actually way more functional now. When I was growing up, I used to actually be worried, like, are these people even going to speak to each other again after this Thanksgiving meal is over? <laughs> so I needed this more when I was young, I think. Now everybody's older and a little bit wiser and sometimes brings their own alcohol. <laughs> so everybody manages their energy better now. So if you need holiday peace, then this is a perfect surprise bag for you. So you're going to get, let me walk you through, you're going to get two candles, three perfumes, two bigger gemstone specimens, four tumbled stones, two smudging sticks. This one has cedar and palo santo, and then you're going to get three sheets of flash tattoos. So you can see how it adds up very quickly, but your price is $100. And if you're in the U.S., your shipping's free. So you're saving at least $20 there. So it's a really good value. That's why everybody's like, oh my God, surprise packages. And a partridge and a pear tree. That's right, Annette Chastain. <laughs> I love that. I know, I know. Well, you know what you, what you could do is get a surprise package and put it on your holiday table and let people take what they wanna take. Wouldn't that be fun? Like everybody gets a little party favor when they come to your house. At my house, it's not that fun because everybody expects it. They're always like, do I get a crystal? It's like, so do you know that by my front door, I have a, a wine barrel and it's the top is kind of like, like, um, I don't know. There's like a, there's a, there's a space in the top and I filled it with uh, clear quartz and, and rose quartz tumbled. So when people come to my house, they get a crystal because in my house, they're like, what do you mean? I don't get a crystal kind of goes with the territory. So when their kids, friends come over and stuff, they get a crystal. It's kind of cute. And then I've taught them how to choose. Do you know how to choose crystals? You have to take your non-writing hand, which is your non-dominant hand. So for me, that's my left hand. And then you move it over the crystals with your eyes closed until your hand gets warm. And then that's usually right over the crystal that you're supposed to take. Super fun, right? So congratulations if you got a surprise bag. I'm going to surprise you with all the things. That one had a celestite that's so cool. um, sphere or egg in it. And then it had a selenite sphere in it too. And a Brandberg amethyst. Oh, there's Brandberg amethyst in that one. They, they hook it up. I mean, seriously, when they, even with just the sample, when SG puts the sample together, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, some I love that. Let's do winners. I've been waiting. Yep. Oh, it's kombucha okay. time. <laughs> Which one is it today? Ooh, oh, it's the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was one left. Oh, we're off. <laughs> I'm, trying to speaker. I'm going to get a new speaker. It's so lame that it does that. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Seraphonite rings. Seraphonite rings. Went to Deanna F. and Medusa. Deanna F. and Medusa. Congrats, girls. Sierra M. and Happy Hippie. Sierra M. and Happy Hippie. Faze, Nikki, and Katana. Faze, Nikki, and Katana. Carolyn M. and Steph K. Carolyn M. Yeah, and Steph K. Mm -hmm. Pam P. and Jennifer M. Pam P. and Jennifer M. Janelle D. and Oria. Janelle D. and Oria. Jen A and Heather Z. Jen A and Heather Z. Congratulations. LaFawn R and Amy J. LaFawn R and Amy J. Suzanne B and Laurel M. Suzanne B and Laurel M. Isn't that beautiful? Amalia M and April B. Amalia M and April B. Janine and Misty J. Janine and Misty J are the Seraphonite ring winners. Congratulations, everybody. You made a great choice. It's so fun to have something new for you. Not that everything in the shows isn't special, but like when I come across a genuinely new to me stone, I get really excited about that. I think you're going to love it. The uh, surprise baskets, Deborah, are $100 for the surprise bags. So good luck, everybody. I sure did call your name Laurel Miller. <laughs> say your name again. So cute. I like to say your names. I know that they can just like type the winners, yeah. but like... I don't know if it's weird, but I actually really like it. And over the years, I feel like we've gotten to know each other. So it's just, it, it brings me a lot of joy to say your name. I'm glad you like it too. All right. Wood obelisk. Yeah, who got the obelisk? Went to Cindy Nolan. Cindy Nolan got that obelisk. I love that. You're going to love it too. It's a beautiful one. Like I said, he's the biggest and hardest petrified wood in the house. So you have got, you have won the prize. The biggest and the hardest. <laughs> 
Well, it is. I don't know that it would be softer. I know that was weird, doesn't it? Doesn't even make sense. Listen, you're laughing at me. You're the one with the corny jokes. I can say that petrified wood is hard. Maybe some wood is harder than other wood. This is not going to go well for me. Like, even as the words are coming out of my mouth, I'm like, I shouldn't say that. Petrified wood is harder than not petrified It is. Wood. It's so like extra I see, petrified. I see where you were going. You see what I was doing there. The golden sheen of city and sphere. Okay, golden sheen of city and the help me rescue me, Alexis. This isn't going anywhere good. They went to Christine G and Kathy B. <laughs> Christine G and Kathy B. Congratulations. Helena A and Melissa L. Helena A and Melissa L. Faze Nikki and Joyce M. Faze Nikki and Joyce N. Congratulations. Cindy Nolan and Allie T. Cindy Nolan and Allie T. Suzanne B and Renee H. Suzanne B and Renee H. Everly May and Stephanie Ann. Everly May. What a beautiful name. And Stephanie M. Congrats, guys. Emma R. and Joanna B. Emma R. and Joanna B. Tanya Sands and Delisa D. Tanya Sands and Delisa D. Rhonda L. and Beth H. Rhonda L. and Beth H. Congratulations, girls. Nancy E. and Pam P. Nancy E. and Pam P. Denise H. and Dina B. Denise H. and Dina B. Edna to you and Paula R. Edna to you and Paula R. Laura Ash and Karina M. Laura Ash and Karina M. <laughs> Sierra M and Lisa S. Sierra M and Lisa S. Lisa S. Congratulations. Christine W and Denise N. Christine W and Denise N. Pandas like bamboo and Janine. Pandas like bamboo and Janine. It's so cute. And Amanda R. And Amanda R. Congratulations. Those are the winners of the Golden Sheen Obsidian Spheres, and, um, which are also hard. This just in, we have an important announcement. Okay. Uh, when you're bidding, please only comment once. It's really difficult to track the winners when you comment multiple times. Okay, did you hear that? You can only bid once. We, like, we see you. I think some people might get worried that we don't see them. You, you know are what I mean? seeing... Like, just know we, we see you. I can see you, too. Okay. No, you're fine. I mean, we're not, like, calling you out, but no, just it no, makes it tricky. Okay. It makes it tricky for them because they're, like, they might count you twice. Do you know what I mean? And then, like, and then not give one to another person. If you want to, that's a different thing, but that's Stay. that's not a naughty Nelly. That's a, um, I have to come up with a name for that for people who comment twice. We'll come up with a little fun nickname for you. Stephanie Ann's name was called for the golden sheet. Okay, Stephanie Ann, we do have one for you. We got you. Yay. See me, Sally. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> it's a great one, though, isn't it? Yeah. You guys are so cute. Okay. Um, potentially, Martha Reina asked a great question. Is the agate slice like the top of an anhydro agate, hence the portals where the water could have been seen through? Potentially, for sure. Why not? Right? I mean, it is a window, right? Um, sometimes the portals, though, are open, right? But sometimes they're like, they have a thin layer. That, that's closed. So I think it's a great theory. I like it. Indeed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is another one of those, like, if you don't want it, it's okay. I can give it a very nice home. Number 31. Uh, well, I have three of them. I'd be happy to give one of them a really nice home. <laughs> My team is so funny. Like, sometimes they know, like, oh, you want one of those, don't you? Now, sometimes I know it's not mine, but I have a thing for opals, and, um, hold on, I'm, 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 I'm between the size of this one, so I think I'm just going to go down to the next little rung. So this would fit, I would say, comfortably a seven um, inch wrist, up to like seven and a half, maybe eight actually, on that last one, it would be eight. These are fire opals, and I will talk to you about fire medicine. This is one of the most beautiful opal bracelets I've ever seen, because they're just big natural chunks, and they are full of the fire. If you've ever seen Brooklyn's ring, her opal ring, um, that she wears sometimes, it, it reminds me of that, where it's just all the fire and flash. There's purple and red and... Let me try and get it closer to you so that you can really see. Oh, there you can start to see the flash. It's got literally every color. And so these are big, raw, natural fire opals. Open on the back. Oh, the back actually shows even more. Let me see if you can see that. 
Aren't they cool? I know. And the price on this, I mean, in my opinion, is insane. It's so good. So if you've wanted opal, can you see the fire on the back? Am I showing it well? If you've wanted opal, tonight may be your night. Yeah, you can, you can, see. oh, yeah. See that fire and that flash? So cool. Just big chunks of the Stone of Transformation. So before I tell you the price, I want, because I want you to learn. Um, in ancient Greek mythology, it was said that when the gods left Mount Olympus, Zeus and Athena and Aphrodite and all of them, when they came down off of Mount Olympus, that every step they took formed an opal in the ground. And so these were thought to be the gods' footsteps. And so opal is said to be a stone of transformation. It can sometimes predict transformation, like you feel like you want one during a phase in your life where you're about to go through something or, I don't know, shift into a new, new higher form of your own conscious awareness. Um, but they, they have that property of transformation, of creation of change and managing of change too. So I have three of these bracelets. Our original price on these bracelets was $5.29. Our price tonight, $4.29 and I have three of them. And you're getting one, two, three, four, five massive chunks <laughs> for that price, which is insane. Um, my necklace is fire opal, and it was a gift. Um, you know, I don't think it is bad luck to buy yourself an opal. I've bought myself plenty of opals, and I've always had really good luck. <laughs> so I personally, love opals. I buy opals as gifts and I've bought myself a couple of opals too. Um, by the way, there's no more of these. I should let you know. They, the person who made this bracelet doesn't have access to any more rough. So this is, this is truly like, this is one of those things where I know it's not going to be back. So if you get this, you're getting something really special. Like down the road, you're going to be like, I'm so glad I was there that night when I got the fire opal because it is so absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It is the October uh, birthstone, too, which is why I bought Brooklyn that ring, the opal ring that she has, because it's her birthstone. Isn't that beautiful? I'm glad you guys like it, too. I know. I have little teeny wrists, too. And so this is a good one if you do have teeny wrists, if you're in that, like, six to seven and a half inch space. If you're smaller than that, then you've got super teeny wrists. And I don't think I have a bracelet for you tonight if you're that tiny. I do have um, a, a necklace and bracelet duo that I just want to show you because I only have the one, I think, right? Yeah, and this one's really special. Um, this would make an amazing gift. And so I'm going to offer it first as the duo because it, I think whoever gets the necklace should get the bracelet. Um, but if nobody buys the duo, then I'll separate them. So let me show it to you. Are you ready? I think this is the ultimate amethyst jewelry. Each amethyst hand carved. Isn't that stunning? Let me lift it up so you can see it better. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that is a work of art. And then on the back, it's all open. This is 925 solid sterling silver. And then there is a bracelet to match. And that's why I was saying it seems like a shame. This is a little bit of a larger bracelet. It's going to fit anywhere from seven up to about eight and a half to nine inch wrist. But if it's me, perfect. On the lowest one, it's, it's a solid six and a half, seven. But if you have a larger wrist, you'll be able to wear that too. Isn't it gorgeous? And the quality of the amethyst, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. They're such beautiful, gemmy, translucent pieces. So... Um, the duo of them, our original price was $10.99, $1,099. Tonight, the duo is $8.99 for one of the largest amethyst necklaces I've ever offered, all hand carved and the bracelet to match. This really is an extraordinary um, opportunity, I think, because you just don't see carved stones like this. Not this many and perfectly matched. I mean, that's the real trick of a piece like this is how do you get this many stones sized perfectly and matched. Now, amethyst, because some of you are new, I do want to teach a little bit. Amethyst, the word amethyst comes from the Greek. Amethystos in Greek means not drunk. And so the, the Greeks believed, and they were wrong, but because you can try it for yourself this evening if you would like, 
they thought if they put a piece of amethyst in their chalice and drank, you know, until the cows came home that they wouldn't get drunk. That didn't work out for them. <laughs> Is Aurea getting it? Ah! <laughs> Is that one for you? Did I see that right? Yeah. Yay! Well, congratulations. Wear it in perfect health and happiness. And like I said, she will get a special gift. Anybody who's total invoice, you don't have to buy one thing that's $500, but if your invoice tonight adds up to $500, I'm sending you something special, hand chosen just for you as a gift. So I'm excited. Super fun, right? I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad this is going to the perfect home. Okay, next up on the jewelry list is um, a stone that I love. I'm going to tell you the story. I love the story. I will tell you, I'd never seen them in rings. Not to say they don't exist, but again, in all my travels, I had never seen a starolite ring. Have you? Fairy crosses. And so starolite, it's spelled S-T-A-U-R-O-L-I-T-E. And people always ask me, why is it spelled like that? The word staros in Greek means cross. So starolite is the cross stone. Our ancestors were not that creative when it came to naming their stones. We, we think the names are exotic and really beautiful, but the reality is it means cross. Um, just like lapis lazuli means blue rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sounds all exotic, but lapis lazuli means blue stone. It's such a perfect name for it, though. I know, right? No, I mean, it totally is. Yeah, I know. I agree. And you know what? In a, in a way, I, I, I long for the days when I didn't know all my stone etymology because there was a little more mystery in the process. Now I'm like, yeah. Okay. Um, why do you want this? Um, when these came in, I immediately took one home because of the story. So it is said, and this stone is very old. It's been worked with for a long time. It's always been associated with Christian lineage and tradition. But the story behind this is that when Christ was crucified, the fairies shed tears and their tears formed the crosses that are now known as fairy stones or fairy crosses. And so these were said to be, starlights were said to be the fairy, the manifestation of the fairies' sadness um, at the loss of, of Christ through the crucifixion. Isn't that an interesting story and kind of sweet story too? Um, grounding and healing, and in particular, the recovery from grief. When people ask me, what stone? I'm, I lost someone I love, I'm going through a breakup, my heart just hurts so bad, I feel like I'm never gonna be able to get over this, what stone do I need? So if you know someone who's lost someone and is working through grief and a little bit of like a heavy heart and some sadness, um, yeah, I mean Everly, sweet Everly, with a beautiful name, who lost a child, I see you there, sister mama, might be your medicine, indeed. You know, and it's like, and especially certain, certain kinds of grief are harder to overcome, frankly, right? Like the loss of a child, for example. Um, you'll, you'll be comforted to know, I hope, that there's quite a few members of our community who, who have been through that experience. And so you've got some kindreds here who can at least partially understand. Um, so we're holding your hand tonight, right? So if you're grieving, the loss of anyone or anything, starlight could be really good stone medicine for you, right? I'll hope to that. Okay, so I'm done teaching now. But I do like to tell you all the things. I don't like to just tell you what, how much something is and move on. I think it's important for you to know. So there's two different sizes. Are these the two different sizes? They look the same size to me, Alexis. It says we have 30 of small and 48 of large. Is that right? and those are the ones that were put here on our table. Okay. We will inquire. We'll make sure. Um, I should probably be able to show them those. So do you want to hold off on oh. this one until we have one to show them? Are they, because I, I remember her telling me it's a very, very, very slight size difference. So maybe. If this is a size difference, I think we should put them all together. Oh. Can we do that? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Just okay. Do it. I'll just combine it. So instead I'm, of I don't roll like that. If the team is saying that there's two different sizes, but it's like such a small size difference. So what I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, is I'm going to put them all together and I'm going to charge you the lower price. These are different. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm going to break a rule. Are you ready? Okay. 
you're the rule maker. Uh, <laughs> you own this joint. <laughs> I do own this joint. There, I don't like to, you know, throw okay. my weight around, but I'm going to do it tonight. Okay, so. So that means in total we have 78 of them. We have 78. And then you can pay. do what I'm going to do. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, you. so the original price of the large was 99 and so our price on the small is 69 so that is your price for Starlight Medicine. And we have good quantities, so if you want one of these, you can have one tonight. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. I mean, and, and what a holiday gift. And so they really do form an X. Isn't that cool? Or cross, depending on how you look at it, right? Um... They really do naturally form that way. I just think the mineral kingdom is such a magical place. You know what I mean? Like for this to form in the earth. And then I do like to stop sometimes and think about our ancestors trying to make sense of what this could be, right? And of course, because we have such a powerful lineage in so many world traditions with a belief in God and the cross has always been seen as a symbol, the staros, right? And so of course it becomes known as starolite. Isn't that cool? Uh, that's really interesting. Faze Nikki just saw these and she thought they were really cool. I have one. I have one piece of starlight at home, um, and and it's about this big. It's just one big cross that I have. And it's on my Mother Mary altar, and I just love it. It brings me a lot of comfort, right? So if you know someone whose heart is hurting, or if your heart is hurting, this is our way of reaching out and giving you a hug. These are fully adjustable, nine two five solid sterling silver. They're going to fit anybody from a size three and a half up to a size 10. And it would make a super cute little pinky ring, wouldn't it? That is cute. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's a finger you can put it on that won't work. And it'll always remind you that you're not alone and that your heart is being held. I think that's really special. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the theory, right? It's the fairy's grief. Are there any um, smudging bowls or sets? Not tonight, I don't think. Not on our agenda this evening. Yeah. Our Yule bundles will be coming to sagegoddess.com soon, though. They are drying. So if you've been waiting on a new white sage bundle, did you see I put them on Instagram? Oh, my God. I think these are the most beautiful bundles we've ever made, I have to say. Berries. they got the berries and the... I do have a wand. Would you like to see my wand? Let me show you my wand. I love this little wand. Okay, where is it? That is... Usually as soon as I ask you, I find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. I only have one wand tonight, and I think this might be one of the final wands from our wand maker who does... All of his wands are made out of sterling silver. So these are treasures, you know? These are like jewelry, but they're wands. And... <laughs> I have about three of his wands in my personal collection, and I use them all the time for sending and receiving energy. So let me walk you through. Um, the blue stones are known as Siberian blue, and they're a form of uh, cubic zirconium. So these are man-made stones, but I think they're beautiful. So, but just so you know that those are, those are not natural stones. They're cut and faceted little what's known as Siberian blue. Part of what I love about this wand is he's got these little sterling silver butterflies. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then he used titanium quartz on the point for one termination, which is the stone of strength through transformation. And then there's a little grapey amethyst cluster here. And on the bottom, it's titanium kyanite. So this is transformation and clearing, detoxification removing influences from your life that aren't serving you to open a new pathway for growth and development. Isn't that beautiful? I just think the butterflies make it. I'll turn it all the way around so you can see. It's got some gold detailing on it too. A couple of the little curls that he did, he did in gold. So he does these little fine gold details that I think are absolutely <coughs> stunning. So this is a beautiful wand. The original price on this... I just had it. The original price on this was $9.99. Tonight it's $7.99. And it's our only wand of the show. The clearing and transformation. This would be a really good wand to work with in the new year. 
especially if you're trying to make changes, um, conscious changes in your life, or you need extra strength to move through something, or you're, maybe you're coming out of a situation that's really challenging, because that kyanite would allow you to clear out negative energy or stuck energy um, to make space for something new. So that would be a really good wand for somebody who's, who's doing some really conscious soul work right now and into 2020. This would be a good tool to support you. Did this one go? Who got this one? We'll have to come back and double check. I'm super excited though. Whoever gets this is a beautiful one. Inspire Light got this one. Is that right? Yes. Congratulations. Thanks you guys. I and, and Inspire Light, I just send you so many blessings with this beautiful wand. I'm obviously going to be sending you a gift because your invoice will be over 500. So I'll have to think about something that aligns up with um, clearing and transformation for you. Congratulations to you. We're very excited for you. That is a beautiful one indeed. All right. I'm going to let you drive the bus now, Alexis. Well, you were talking about lapis lazuli. Let's talk about lapis lazuli and Ganesha. It's kind of a fun combination. <laughs> um, I love stone carvings. I don't collect them all, but I do collect stone Ganeshas. And I think you've heard me say that before. They should be somewhere near your front door. Ganesha removes obstacles and brings blessings, clears the path for good things to come your way. Uh, which one Which one number is this one, Alexis? Oh, I see it. Oh, there's only one. He's a lone it's ranger. kind of a bummer. He's a lone ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of sucks when there's one, you know, it's like, oh, cause you know, I know. Isn't he sweet? Um, so what part of what I wanted to show you is whoever carved this really was very intentional. There's like the, the back of his head is carved with a six pointed star and it's just a lot of pyrite there. All that gold is there. And he's got a lot of pyrite down the front and that's just a hallmark of good quality. You want that intense, Cerulean blue, and then you want a, a good amount of lap or of pyrite in your piece too. So he's a beauty. Um, original price on him three ninety nine. Our price tonight, and this is a a ridiculous price, is two ninety nine. Oh my god, I uh, I just can't even tell you. <laughs> like just. If you're on the fence, just do it. Because if, if I was able to manifest another one of these in the room right now, I wouldn't be able to do it at that price. Well, just imagine how big that piece of lapis had to be. Yeah, I think about that too. We, Alexis was saying, imagine the rough. Because there's so much loss when they carve, which is one of the reasons why stone carvings are expensive. Because they have to start with a big block, you know, the size of that screen at least, and then and then carve it down. Um and then they have to be mindful of like where, where the good quality parts are, right? Because if you, if you end up with poor quality lapis, it doesn't look like this. It has white spots in it and gray spots. It's not anything that you'd want for your collection. So he is a prize. Um, what do they do with the loss? They tumble it, right? I mean, so there's never really loss, loss, loss. Um, they take it, they cut it, they tumble it and polish it. And that's where your tumbled stones come from. Pretty cool. Or they will, you know, keep it natural. They'll just kind of slice it into natural chunks. And some people like their natural stones and some people like to work with tumbled stones. That kind of depends on, you know. And then there's people like me too. I actually, um, what I do with some of my stone vendors is I even buy their dust. Because sometimes we use it for things. I used to make um, soap back in the days before Sage Goddess when I just made stuff for myself and my friends. Um, I had a friend who was cutting lipidolite, and so I would buy the dust, and I would sprinkle a, like a very fine layer of lipidolite dust on the top of my soaps, and it was for exfoliation, and it was super yummy, and it, of course, it's lithium, so it's very soothing and relaxing too, so I used to, I used to have quite a line out the door for my lipidolite soothing soaps. So I'm always like, what you got? You got dust? You got chips? You got, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll buy your dust. It's kind of fun. Listen, I like dirt, especially if it's gemstone dirt. This is like a drinking drinking game. If you say gemstone dirt, you have to drink. Shall we talk about Smith's Night Moons? Mm -hmm. I love them. Okay. Made for me. Ready? Smith's Night Rings. We had a few of these. I don't know. Three, four, five months ago. Not very much. 
And so um, I asked the person who made them, do you think you could make more for me? And they were like, probably not before Tucson, like, because they're busy. And then these arrived. So my heart's kind of pounding a little bit. We did the fairy rings already, Stephanie Ann. Oh, no. So this is the last ring of the show. This is called Smithsonite. And I want to tell you all about Smithsonite. It's a very powerful stone. Okay, soothes uh, nerves, relieves stress, brings clear vision, helps to develop the psychic gift known as clairvoyance. And what it does is it it's a detoxifier of energies. So Smithsonite attracts to you things that are good for you energetically, and it repels from you things that are harmful or not in service to your highest good. It's like a, like a cosmic organizer. Smith and I comes from Mexico. It's super hard to find. This, this like super baby blue, robin's egg blue color is like the cherry, cherry what you want. All of my rings are adjustable. Cody doll, so glad you asked. They're all adjustable, all done in sterling 925. They're all open on the back. So all you do is you pull it open to make it larger or you push it together to make it smaller. Super fun, right? Okay. Um, we have 50 of these. Our The original price on these was 104. Our price tonight is 74. For genuine, and I mean super high quality, Smith's tonight rings. Aren't they beautiful? So the, who is this for? This is for somebody who's trying to develop their psychic gifts, somebody who's experiencing a lot of stress, and somebody who like needs a little bit of um, psychic detox. Keeps the good in, keeps the bad out. And I like stones like that. There's very few stones that do that, actually. Um, I can think of Ijerine does that really well. Sort of promotes healthy, energetic boundaries. But, like, works sort of autonomously on your behalf. It repels what isn't good for you, and it attracts what is good for you. So this is this I would put up there with Ijerine in terms of being protective of your aura. Isn't it beautiful? I know. Were you watching it? I know the color. Here's the thing. There are not a lot of minerals that really do naturally grow in this vibrant shade without being dyed. And I've seen natural smithsonite this color. So I can tell you this is real deal. And smithsonite, I mean, there was a man who, who came to me and he came to me. Uh, he said, I found out you like smithsonite. And I wanted to tell you I just sold like he had five or six clusters and a cluster this size of this grade, I mean, it's like fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000. It's super gemmy, super clear, super beautiful. So that's why to get a really beautiful cabochon at, at under $100 is a pretty remarkable special thing. So if you want something, you, um, I'm, I'm responding to Wee Wee. If you want something, you just have to make sure you have an account over at sagegoddess.com with your YouTube handle, and then you can come over, and as soon as I tell you what something is and what the price is, as soon as the team says it, you can comment sold. And then we invoice you. You have 24 hours to pay, and then everything ships to you. And if you're in the U.S., your shipping is free. If you're outside the U.S., it's $5. And any purchase over $100, you can put on quad pay and separate your payment into four payments over six weeks at no interest. And the only caveat with uh, quad pay is that you can't have too many outstanding quad pays. Then they clamp down on you. We should come up for a name with that, like um, quad pay Quinn or something. You know, who has 19 different quad pays, and so <laughs> she gets banned from quad pay. They, they want you to pay off your quad clamp. <laughs> Lola Bunny. <laughs> Yeah, or one, you know, it depends. Like some people they allow one, some people they allow two. They don't really allow three or more, um, but they sure do put the clamp down <laughs> on you. But if you don't have any others, then you can open a quad pay. It allows you to spread your payment over time, which I think is really cool. And we'll let you know who got Smithsonite rings too. I'm in love with them. Let's do that. Can I show them the Smithsonite pendants just because we're on that? Or would you want me to um, wait for that? Sure, yeah, we can do that. Up to you. We, we do have, if you want to make a wardrobe out of it, because we do have Smith tonight, same jeweler. There's two different um, designs. So you can get Smith tonight with pearl. It's a beautiful freeform pearl, too. Or you can get Smith tonight with blue topaz. So pearls are about emotional healing and being receptive to new beginnings. Pearls are about 
endurance too and strength and then topaz is a stone in ancient times that was thought to make you invisible um, the ancient Greeks and the Romans would put topaz in their breastplates before they went into battle because it thought it made their enemies unable to see them. And topaz is very protective, um, and it is a stone that people use in what's called invisibility magic, if you must know. So this is Smith's Tonight with Pearl. Isn't this beautiful? I have seven of these. And this is Smith's Tonight with Blue Topaz. And I have 14 of these. Aren't they gorgeous? So if you want a beautiful pendant, and again, it's that, that blue is so striking because you just don't see it, you know? Larimar can be it, sometimes in this shade, right? But you just, uh, turquoise, obviously, but there aren't a lot of minerals that have that color and that intensity. Aren't they pretty? So the pearl, I have seven of these. These are 69, Smithsonite and Pearl. And then I have 14 Smiths tonight with blue topaz for 79. So you can choose. Aren't they pretty? I love them both. So I can't help you make a decision between the two of them. I love them both. I think that the the pearl has this kind of like like I don't know, beach energy to it. It's like it feels like fresh water. It feels kind of soothing and calming and and then the the topaz really does feel protective. So it really just depends on more on what your what your medicine is at the moment. Um, Don Fisher is asking for us to please announce surprise bag winners. Yes, we will get to that shortly. Yeah, we're on it. Sometimes it takes them just a little time, Don. So I kind of tend to go with their flow because it takes them time. They just want to make sure they're accurate before we announce. There's nothing like angry gem sale people because we didn't line it up accurately. <laughs> so, but. <laughs> But just know we see you. We're, we're working on it. Aren't they pretty? I know. Coraline is like, bag winners. <laughs> Girl, CR, there's always a charity piece. Are you kidding? It wouldn't be a Sage Goddess gem sale if there wasn't a charity piece. And we will get there, too. I'm glad you guys are excited. Always. Always, always, always. Okay. Next up, what I want to show you. Um, I only have 23 of these. This oh, is... Actually, I'm so sorry. Um, can, can you not? Can you do this one? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, we're all we're all picking winners, so no one's available to okay. pick twenty three. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't do that yet because they're trying to get bag winners. <laughs> um, my uh, necklace was a gift from uh, a jeweler friend who a lot of you know, Momo of Mercurius Designs. He, um, it's it's a long, really cute story, but he was staying with me and um, he was wearing this pendant, and I just couldn't take my eyes off of it. And so I told them, I was like, if you ever get another fire opal like that, I hope you'll think of me and save it for me and make me something. And he was like, I don't think I'm going to see another one like that. It's purple. You know, it's kind of special. But he's like, of course. And then it was like 48 hours after he, after he left um, uh, my house and went back home, uh, it arrived in the mail. <laughs> so it's very sweet. Very, very good hearted, kind person who definitely, I screamed when I opened the package because... Like, I couldn't believe it. The timing was weird. I'm like, what is he doing sending me something? And I went to open the box, and I was like, ah! <laughs> it was a big surprise. Right? Super sweet. Okay, this is, this is Papa Paracas's white sage plant. This is a piece from our um, tree outside, and we put it in a beautiful lapis vase. And this is available tonight. Isn't it beautiful? This is a hand-carved, hand-pieced lapis vase. And part of what I love is, look at the inside. It's all gold. It reminds me of something that you would have seen in Cleopatra's chambers, doesn't it? Isn't that beautiful how it's gold on the inside? I love this. I have, I have one very similar like this at home. And I put fresh herbs in it all the time. Because I'm, I will say I'm too um, low maintenance to do flowers every day. I can't, I can't maintain flowers because I'm just too busy. I've got kids and parents and employees, and I can't do flowers. But I do put fresh herbs out on my altar once a week, and that I can manage. And this smells like absolute heaven. Alexis went and picked this for you. So um, there's only one of these. <laughs> Everybody's asking about surprise bags. Can you guys in the feed comment and let people know they're coming and explain how long it takes oh, to... Uh, okay, so good. Once we're done with this, <laughs> okay. 
Um, we only have one of these, um, and it is $149, and it is going to come with the sage. We thought that would be a fun little extra gift to give you, a little sage from right out here in our building. This is a plant that my dad planted when we moved to Los Angeles five and a half years ago now. He planted it from seed, and it's a big, thriving bush now. And this is our charity item for today. So whoever wins this one, we are going to donate in your name all $149 of your purchase to the charity of your choice. And we do that every time we do a gem sale to put good energy out into the world. And so you get to choose the charity. And if you ever want to know where we've done this, like where our money has gone, you can go to sagegoddess.com and under our About Us section, there is a Gives Back page. And it details all the charities that we've supported over the years through you and through our own efforts too. We do a lot of philanthropic work here at SG. So congratulations. We'll come back and let you know who got that. I know, right? Uh, my dad loves it when you guys appreciate his sage. He, he has taken it up as a hobby. He's learned how to propagate white sage from seed, and he just does it for fun. Mm. Okay, now what are we doing, darling? Surprise bag winners. Surprise bag winners. Are you ready? They went to Ruby C and Maria S. Ruby C, Maria S, surprise bag winners. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, Graciela and Christine W. Graciela and Christine W. Scarlet P and Diane L. Scarlet P, Diane L, congratulations. Rhonda L and Melissa L. Rhonda L and Melissa L. Denise D and e Everly May. Denise D and Everly May. Cindy Nolan and Don Fisher. Cindy Nolan and Don Fisher, congratulations. Emma R and Denise Ann. Emma R, Denise Ann. Coral Stevenson and Rinna. Coral Stevenson and Rinna. Rhonda H and Danielle M. Rhonda H and Danielle M, congratulations. Rosemary M and Britt P. Rosemary M and Britt P. Pam P and Christian C. Pam P and Christian C. Jenny B and Karina M. Jenny B and Karina M. Janelle D and Teresa J. Janelle D and Teresa J. Faze Nikki and Claudia T. Faze Nikki and Claudia T. Michelle Q and Maria G. Michelle Q and Maria G. Jody S and April B. Jody S and April B. Medusa and Michelle N. Medusa and Michelle N. Um, we have Coral Stevenson down again and Amy N. Coral, did you want to? We have you down twice, and Amy N. Debbie M. and Arabella. Debbie M. and Arabella, congratulations. Cassie B. and Marcy D. Cassie B. and Marcy D. Diane L. and Suzanne R. Diane L. and Suzanne R. Sir Darius and Carol J. Sir Darius and Carol J. Yvonne S. and Cynthia R. Yvonne S. and Cynthia R. Sherry C. and Christine W. Sherry C. and Christine W. Denise N. and Real Talk Tara. Denise N. and Real Talk Tara. Those are our surprise bag winners for this evening, and congratulations. Very, very, very happy for you guys. Uh, no, the white sage that comes in your packages comes from an equally special place, though. It's actually farmed for us, and it's organic. And they never harvest from plants that are any younger than five years old. And they make offerings to their plants and they sing to their plants. I mean, it is, the white sage is in our bundles and the little leaves that come with your stones when you place your orders. It's, it's pure and beautiful. You never have to worry about is it being harvested in a good way or is it sustainable? Um, and we've been working with the same um, man and woman who farm it for us for the last I've been working with them actually longer than I've had Sage Goddess. So um, they're just an amazing set of human beings. <laughs> when we move, um, which hopefully will be this year, um, not, not 2019, <laughs> but 2020, um, my dad's already talking about trying to take the plants. Like I think as soon as it's finalized and we announce like, yes, we are moving, I think he's gonna start the process of, of you know lifting them and getting them rooted they're so delicate like i'm worried about it actually for for how hardy they are they're really desert weeds right but they're also super grumpy and they don't like to they don't like change they freak out april says she's overspending tonight well do you need me to push you on timeout april i will put you on timeout <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay, this is one of the um, 
best values of the wholesale. Are you ready? <laughs> I can't say where we're moving yet or when because I haven't announced it to my whole team yet. So as soon as they know, you will know. There, I've got big plans. All right. Just here's some examples of what could potentially be in there. I got, I got surprises for you. We'll never be moving far. We are, this is our home base and our employees like where they are. So I just wanna, since I have some of my employees in the room, I don't want anybody being scared. We're not, we're not going anywhere far. I sat down on my stool and I almost fell. Oh God. <laughs> I made our contact. Alexis almost crossing. fell off of her stool. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Oh, these are so beautiful. I see a goddess when I look at this one. Um, so these are handmade malachite boxes. Stop drinking. I am not drinking. <laughs> I promise you she's not drinking. And not that that hasn't happened before. And she's super fun when she does. But she's actually very serious right now. And she she is not drinking. We are, we are, we are sober and clear here. We're having a nice kombucha. Okay. Um, these are handmade malachite boxes. Okay, you like my box? Thank you, Stephanie G. See, here's the thing, even when I'm being, not being naughty, you guys are naughty. So it's like, I might as well just be naughty because you're already naughty. Now we're talking about my box, earlier we were talking about hard wood. Today's been an interesting gem sale, I would say. <laughs> okay, um, I have four different sizes of boxes, but like 20 total, there isn't a lot. Here's what's really special about this. Um, you're getting the box tonight for below the cost of what the box should be, okay? And then on top of that, every single box is coming with jewelry. You're either going to get a ring. This is a trapiche or trapiche amethyst ring in sterling silver adjustable, or you're going to get a necklace. This is pink topaz in sterling silver. Um, so you're going to get jewelry, a piece of jewelry inside the box. So you're paying for the box, but a little bit less than the retail value. And then I'm gifting you the jewelry between $30 and $60 in value. And your shipping's free. I know. So anyway, if you, and I won't tell if you want to give the box to somebody and keep the jewelry, or if you want to give the jewelry to somebody and keep the box, I will not share that secret. Um, so let me show you the sizes. This is the size small. And so the small, I have six of these. They are $99. Retail value on this, $149. With the jewelry, $179. With shipping, $189. You're paying $99. That's why I'm saying like this is a crazy, this is a crazy value tonight. I wish I had more, I just I don't. This is all I have. Then this is the medium. The medium is $129. Retail value, 40 bucks up from there, 169, and then the jewelry makes it 200 and 210, so that's that's your value there. This is the large, I have the most of the large, I have 11 of the large, 159, this is four and a quarter inches of solid malachite. It blows my mind. I mean, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's, it's really finished beautifully, like with the edge, the lip, you know what I mean? So it's not, the top isn't going to fly off and break. Like, they're really well made. So the, um, the large, $159, retail value $199, with the jewelry, $230 to $260, right? And then the extra large, I only have three. Isn't this amazing? Um, $199 is your price. These are four and three quarters inches to five inches and includes the jewelry. Isn't that fun? I'm so glad you guys are loving it. Like the, like I said, this is like the big value of tonight, I think, because you're basically getting your jewelry for free. It's an extra gift from us. I don't know if you could get an Oracle deck to fit in there. It's a little... I don't have any of my cards here. You know what would fit in here? Do you have the little... What are they called? The angel... You know the little cutie cards that oh, I love? What are those the called? They have like just the... The angel healing? Yeah. It's like just one word on each card. That oh, deck would fit in here. But I think anything bigger than that, like your Rider Waits, or the little mini Rider Waits would actually... You could you could fit the little mini Rider Waite deck in the, in the small. 
Wouldn't that be kind of cute? A little tarot box for you. Yay, Stephanie got her first box. Woo I know, it's very exciting. Okay, so those are here, and I'm really excited that those are going also to Amazing Homes. I just, I get lost, you know what I mean? Like, just look. And I will tell you something, maybe this is weird. I almost always see an owl in Malachite. Want to play a game with me? Do you see the owl? Like, it's not just, I'm not crazy, right? Like, do you see the owl? We should be moving on to like the next thing, but I just have to, I have to show you the owl. Do you see it? So I'm not crazy, right? It's a legit owl. <laughs> Here's like a owl who's hiding from you down here. Look at that. It's easy to see owls in Malachite because of the, the swirls. This one looks like an owl who maybe had a rough night last night. <laughs> like his pupils are all dilated. <laughs> He's on a ride. He's on a journey. Am I still crazy? You know what? Great. I Here's the thing about crazy. I think sane people are boring. Truth be told, I would take a crazy person over a sane person any day. Seriously. But maybe that's because I'm surrounded by crazy people. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> you want to do the hematite generator? Yeah, sets? I do. Okay. <laughs> Um, I love these so much, but it's because I need it. <laughs> Dave, Dave always says, if I didn't have him or a grounding stone, I would just like float away one day. People would be like, oh, what happened to Athena? Um, she floated away. You wouldn't be all that surprised. You'd be like, well, it hasn't happened yet, but that's because of things like this. <laughs> it's really true. Have you ever noticed? Crazy people don't run around pretending that they're sane, but sane people do run around pretending that they're sane. Did I say that right? No. Yes. Sane people run around pretending like they're sane, but they're really not sane. They're crazy. Crazy people do not run around pretending. That's why I like them. Seriously. You only live once. Have a good time. One of my favorite quotes, although it's kind of a shitty quote, but I really like it, but it's just, it's hard. It's a hard truth to hear. Um, is actually a Buddhist proverb, and it goes, um, it's later than you think. It's interesting, isn't it? It's later than you think. Because we tend to go through this human life, like, thinking that we have all the time in the world, and so it's this concept of, it's later than you think. And speaking of which, hematite generators. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, 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 right? It's later than you think. Okay. Um, these hematite generators are another one of those cases where the person who mined the, gener uh, the hematite also carved the generators, and then they come directly to us. So it's a clean line of energy. I just like that, do you know? Because it's just the, the, less, the less human hands on your stones, the purer the energy field that, it, that surrounds it. doesn't mean you don't have to clear your stones, but you don't have to clear them the way you would when you get something from eBay. And look, I've bought a couple things, crystals from eBay, because I've found some things on eBay that are really rare. When they arrive, I feel like they come with an army of soul critters <laughs> like that have to be scrubbed off of them, right? So there's something about good, clear, pure energy that, that resonates with us. So these are three to three and a half inches. I have 23 of these. Um, original price on these is 69. Our price tonight, 49 for hematite generators. Um, why is hematite so important? There's actually little red lines in this, which is really cool because it shows you uh, the true nature of hematite. Hematite is a red inclusion, and that's actually where the, the name comes from, right? Because um, it all goes back to the Greek root word for blood. And so um, our ancient ancestors thought there was blood inside of hematite because most hematite stones, when you cut it, it's red and it's not just it's not like a nice red it's like a blood red it's, like a, it's a real red right hematite is very grounding this is what I use when um, I'm having anxiety you know like do you ever have those moments where it's just like your heart starts pounding and it's like not, not nothing's even wrong but it's like sometimes even just being human or living in a 5g world or just makes your energy feel like you're jittery 
this will bring you right back down and hold you down. You don't want to use it all the time. This is really a, st a stone that you use when you need it. Um, it works for kids and tantrums. I've had more than one parent come my way and ask me if I had any hematite. It's a really good one to work with for kids, especially if your kids are preteens. I have two pre-teenagers and they have a lot of anxiety and they're not alone. I do a mentoring program at my daughter's school where I teach mindfulness to fifth graders. And we just had our session, not this, not this week, but the week before. And all of those fifth graders sitting around a circle, 25 of them with me, telling me about their stress and their anxiety, how nervous they are all the time, right? So start to share your crystals with little ones in your life. If you ask your kids, do you ever feel anxious or nervous? They're going to look at you and go, and they may not even know. <laughs> yeah, and that's like, don't throw it at them. <laughs> Depends on what kind of tantrum it is, but no, in all seriousness, no. But you know what, kids, kids naturally understand crystals. I really didn't have to teach those kids too much. They wanted to know what the properties were and where it came from, a little bit about the geology of it. But other than that, they were like, I didn't have to explain that you hold it and it makes you feel better. The kids get it, right? That's pretty cool. Okay. So we'll come back and let you know. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> What's left so far? Can we do a little recap on that? Do we have anything that is still here from... Yes. So we have seraphonite rings left. Ooh, we still have some of the golden seraphonite rings. Don't miss that one, you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, how many seraphonite rings do we have? We have 28. Left. Okay. Okay. So we still have 28. We still have a good supply of the golden seraphonite rings. Um, so don't miss that one. That's a really super unique and new one. And especially, like I said, it's, it's a grounding stone, but it's an angelic stone at the same time. So it sort of is really good for balancing yin yang energy too. So this is what the golden seraphonite ring looks like. What else do we have left, Alexis? We have golden sheen obsidian spheres. Ooh, we still have golden sheen spheres. This is another one not to miss. It's really good for integrating the harder parts of yourself, what we call shadow work. It's really good for shadow integration. It's good for clearing off the cobwebs in your aura. It does the same thing for your home or your sacred space too. And all you have to do is just place it there. And it comes with a clear cord stand for it too. So the seraphonite rings, can you help me with pricing on that, Alexis? Yes, the seraphonite rings were 99? Yes, 99. 99. And then the, um, Golden Sheen Spheres are 79 and they come with your clear quartz stand. Fun, right? Uh, this, the ring, this one or this one? This is Moldavite and this is uh, Smithsonite. I don't know if we have any Smithsonite rings left, do we? We had a good number of those no. available. No, we did sell out of those. Okay, Smithsonite rings are gone. Starlight rings, do we still have those? Yes, Okay. 16 Starlight rings. There's 16 starlight rings left. If you do want to get a ring tonight, I would I would not miss the starlight or the seraphonite just because, to my knowledge, there those really aren't out there. Not that I see smithsonite very often either, but the starlight is really good. We talked about that releasing healing from grief. It's really good for sadness and sorrow because that's the legend with these little fairy crosses is that when Christ died, was crucified, that the fairies shed tears and their tears hardened into these little crosses. I know all the jewelry, right? They're asking for Smithsonite winners. Did we do those already? I can't remember. We can do, we can do that right now. Let's do Smithsonite ring winners. Let's do it. So. Yeah, so if you want one of the spheres, go ahead and comment sold now. If you want one of the starlight rings, you can still comment now. If you want one of the golden seraphonite rings, you can comment sold now. We'll still add you in and then we'll... we'll um, add you to the final list of winners too. All right, Smiths and Night Rings. They went to Julia R. and Deanna F. Julia R. and Deanna F. Congratulations. Serafina and Graciela. Serafina and Graciela. Heather F. and Jennifer M. Heather F. and Jennifer N. M. M. Inspire Light and Gansito Lover. Inspire Light and Gansito Lover. Congratulations. Renee and Medusa. Renee and Medusa. Heather Z and Jessica D. Heather Z and Jessica D. Christine W and Denise D. Christine W and Denise D. Adele G and Sophia M. Adele G and Sophia M. Cindy R and Judy E. Cindy R and Judy E. Diana B and LaFon. Diana B and LaFon. Michelle S and Starlight Insight. Michelle S and Starlight Insight. 
Angela C. and Faze Nikki. Angela C. and Faze Nikki. Beverly E. and Tina G. Beverly E. and Tina G. Cindy N. and Mary Agnes. Cindy N. and Mary Agnes. Congratulations. Beth H. and Multilight 16. Beth H. and Multilight 16. Nicole S. and Tammy A. Nicole S. and Tammy A. Barb C. and... Barb C. and Marcy D. Barb C. and Marcy D. This is the Smithsonite Ring winners. Janine and Breezy. Janine and Breezy. Erin E. and Teresa F. Erin E. and Teresa F. S. B. and Diane L. S. B. and Diane L. Maria G. and Carol J. Maria G. and Carol J. Lisa S. and Rhonda H. Le uh, Lisa S. and Rhonda H. Lena and Ruby Comet. Lena and Ruby Comet. I like that too. Mm -hmm. um, Adaru Music mm -hmm. and Mystic Gypsy. Adaru Music and Mystic Gypsy. Congratulations. Laura H. and Samia. Laura H. and Samia. Congratulations. Samia. Oh, Samia. Yeah, Samia. Yeah, so S A M M I J O. Maybe Sammy Joe? We're, we're Spanish speakers around here, so we, we, we always go yeah with it, but maybe it was a J. Maybe like a proper J. Sammy Joe, can you tell us if, it, if it's Samia or Sammy Ho or Joe? Because we're trying to Spanglish it over here. <laughs> okay, Starlight winners they're asking for. I don't know if they're ready to do Starlight winners yet, but we can. Starlight. Okay. They went to. How, si how many, sorry, before you start, how many of those are left? Um, 14. Okay. As of now. Last 14 of the Starlight rings if you want one, by the way, and you can still comment now and we'll add you in. Okay, Starlight winners Sandy B and Yvonne S. Sandy B and Yvonne S. Sierra M and Renee H. Sierra M and Renee H. Thank you for that, Sammy Joe, by the way. Oh, Renee H is getting two. Renee H is getting two. Okay. Bridget O and Medusa. Bridget O and Medusa. Starlight Insight and Fontese. Starlight Insight and Fontese. Debbie Mason and Beverly E. Debbie Mason and Beverly E. Anna R and Roseanne. Anna R and Roseanne. Graciela and Happy Hippie. Graciela and Happy Hippie. I'm so happy for you guys. Deanna F and Adele G. Deanna F and Adele G. Scarlett P and Cindy Nolan. Scarlett P and Cindy Nolan. Pam P and Teresa VK. Pam P and Teresa VK. Cindy R and Faze Nikki. Cindy R and Faze Nikki. Kathy B and Nancy E. Kathy B and Nancy E. Christian C and Christian G. Christian C and Christian G. Mm -hmm. Carissa and Marie S. Carissa and Marie S. Jennifer M and Janelle D. Jennifer M and Janelle D. Cubert and Nicole M. Cubert and Nicole M. Congratulations, you guys. Everly May and Cora Luna. Everly May and Cora Luna. Stephanie Ann and SB. Stephanie Ann and SB. Pandas like bamboo and Dina, Bo Dina B. Always makes me smile. Pandas like bamboo and Dina B. This one's cute too. Dragonfly Whimsy. Dragonfly Whimsy. I like that too. And Tammy A. And Tammy A. April B and Kara S. April B and Kara S. J and Diane L. J and Diane L. Multilight and Jennifer A. Multilight and Jennifer A. Arabella and Denise H. Arabella and Denise H. Vicky M and Helen C. Vicky M and Helen C. Jen K and Jolene Chestnut. Jen K and Jolene Chestnut. Jolene Chestnut. Ronnie B and Ruby Comet. Ronnie B and Ruby Comet. Britt P and Marcy D. Britt P and Marcy D. Bethany L and Denise Ann. Bethany L and Denise Ann. Lafon R and Cecilia. Lafon R and Cecilia. Martha R and Breezy D. Martha R and Breezy D. Deborah D and Rhonda H. Deborah D and Rhonda H. Whew. Winners of Starlight Rings. Remember, Staros in Greek means what? I should quiz you guys sometimes. The, the teacher and me misses giving tests. But you know, I hated grading. I really did not like to evaluate people's things. I always felt bad when I gave somebody a bad grade, even when they earned it. <laughs> I still didn't want to give anybody a bad grade. I know. You got it. Nicely done. Cora Luna gets an A. Marie gets an A. Michelle gets an A. Oh. I would procrastinate on grading. Dave could tell you. He'd be like, don't you have grading to do? I'd be like, yeah. These are so beautiful. Okay. 
It's got big balls for you now. If you like big balls, you can't lie. <laughs> okay, congratulations, you guys. Um, okay, these are Smoky Quartz Spheres at the best price we've had, which is kind of exciting. Um, this is a staple in your collection. If you don't have a Smoky Quartz Sphere, tonight might be the right night for you. Um, they're coming on these clear quartz stands, which I don't know if you're obsessed with the gemstone sphere stands. We had these made for us. I'm obsessed with them. I just think it's so cool because it magnifies the energy of the sphere, um, but it's decorative too, right? It doesn't take away from it, but it adds to it. Okay. Um, believe it or not, this is the small, okay? <laughs> this is the small. This is the medium. These are from Madagascar, and this is the large. Oh, yeah, that one's got a situation in it. <laughs> I mean, they all do, but it's like a whole universe in there. Okay. Um, small, medium, and large. So um, let me tell you quickly about Smoky Quartz. A lot of you know about Smoky Quartz, so I'm not going to go on and on. Smoky Quartz comes from a few different places in the world, but primarily the supply in the world now comes from Brazil and Madagascar. So those are the two primary sources. Um, and isn't it pretty? It's like super glowy. So the legend of Smoky Quartz is that it used to be clear, but it it's like a vacuum cleaner. It sucks up low vibrations and it keeps them away from you, which is why my one, my one big rule with people is you have to have Smoky Quartz near the entrance to your home. I have a pyramid, Smoky Quartz Pyramid, right right on the little table as you walk into my house on the left. And the idea is that it'll any any energy, anyone coming to your house, delivery people, whatever, it's not good energy, it will it will stop it and trap it there and keep it from going into your home. So it's like a beautiful vacuum cleaner. That's how I like to think about it, right? Um, it also really helps. People always ask me, what do you use for chemotherapy or like really heavy duty medical treatments? This is a good stone for mitigating some of the effects of harsh medical treatments on your body. Um, but it's good for detoxifying anything really, but it pulls those unwanted energies away from you and stores it. So it's not in your energy field. That's why I'm saying it's like a, like a vacuum cleaner for your energy field. Okay. The small... I have 10, medium I have six, and large I have six. So these are very, very limited. The small is three inches, the medium is three to three and a half, and then the large is three and three quarters to four inches, and that's this size right here. Okay. Um, these small, our price is 89, our original price 129. I have uh, 10 of those. Medium, our price is 109, original price 149. Again, comes with the stand, and then large. Our price is one forty nine. Original price one ninety nine. And that's all she wrote for Smoky Court Spheres. Q siren. A lot of sirens today. Isn't it gorgeous? That is going to look so beautiful in your space. I'm really excited for you if you're getting one of these. The quality is beautiful. Um, the color is completely natural. Some people do heat treat Smoky Quartz. Uh, you're not going to see me selling it because I don't like it. Um, and you can always tell when Smoky Quartz has been artificially heat treated because it gets really dark. You know what I mean? Have you, have you seen that out in the marketplace? It's like it's like unnaturally dark. It's much darker than this, right? So when you see a variation in color, that's also a, a symbol of its authenticity, too. When you see a lot of Smoky Quartz, there should be uh, some variation. We are working on getting these available for you on the website. What I've had my team do, just so you know, is I've had them manufacture enough of these so that any stand, any sphere that you buy from Sage Goddess going forward, once that these arrive, will always come with a clear quartz sphere stand. Ooh. Isn't that cool? So we will always send them with our spheres. It was an investment for us to make and to pre-order those, but that way you can always trust that you're going to get one because it's always going to magnify the energy. And then I'm having them manufactured in about six or eight other stone types, and then there'll be a listing with a drop-down so that you can buy other types for your spheres if you want them. Kind of fun, right? I'm always looking for ways to stay different because, you know, when I started Sage Goddess, nobody had sold stones online. I mean, hardly anybody did. 
And now it's like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if my mom told me she was opening a crystal shop. <laughs> it's just like, so one of the, we try to stay really competitive on our pricing and quality. And we also try to bring you, because we, we're, we can have things manufactured just for us. So we also try to bring you things that are different to continue to kind of stay ahead of the curve, if you will, to stay relevant. And then, you know, then when that gets old, we'll go do something else. Um, yeah. Oh, would you like to do? Or did you have something in mind? Uh, no. no. I'm going with your flow. Wheel spinning. How about... Yeah, we have uh, three more, two more types of spheres to tell you about tonight. Yes. So I'm going to tell you about the remaining spheres. Yeah, you know, the, the, the little metal ones are okay, but it's like everybody's got those, and I just it gets kind of boring to me, to be honest. I get bored. But, you know, that's my attention deficit situation that I, <laughs> that I have. Again, people I know who get bored, you know, and have ADHD, they're more interesting. I'm just saying. Maybe I'm saying that as a defense mechanism, but I really think they are. Okay. Um, Ocean Jasper Spheres. I only have 15 of these, by the way. These are also coming with, right, the sphere stand, yes. yeah. So let me tell you about these. <laughs> and these are crazy quality. This is a new pocket of Ocean Jasper that they found in Madagascar over the last 12 to 18 months. And the person who mined it actually for my birthday this year brought me a palm stone. And he said, oh my God, this is the new vein. This is the new pocket. It's covered in these little druzy quartz veins. Do you see that? That's, that's druzy quartz in there. And then the orbits, because ocean jasper is a form of what they call orbicular jasper, where these little orbits, these little eyes, um, the, the hallmark of good quality ocean jasper is a lot of eyes, very defined eyes, intensity of color, and quartz pockets. So th those are sort of the, I always like to tell you what, what quality measures to look for so that you know when you're when you're looking at stones at a gem show or something else like is this good quality um ocean jasper or is this kind of not as good what is the color so these are mostly green this new pocket that they found it's green and gold with the with radical amounts of quartz pocketing on them so that's why we paired it up with a clear quartz sphere stand because i think it's the perfect it like makes the little quartz pockets in it pop well, so this is the stone of happiness. Ocean Jasper is happiness. It's, it's contentment with what you have. It's such a good stone for teaching you to be grateful. It reminds you, it really shows you how much beauty there is in your world. Especially it's good for people who are depressed because for me, depression is the inability to see the beauty around you. And I come from a family that has been riddled by depression, right? I mean, my both of my grandmothers had really severe kind of what they called melancholia in the day, right? A lot of sadness in the lineage. Uh, but that also comes from war and struggle and all of those things. This is the silver lining stone. It's like, it's find the joy. It will remind you. What's really cool is that um, traditionally in, in Madagascar, ocean jasper tends to be mined by women. It does actually come from a, a source near the water, so it has a lot of water energy with it too. But it's very feminine, very soothing, very nurturing, and it does. It, it's, it lightens your heart a little bit. One of my teachers always says that the key to life is keeping joy in your heart. He always reminds me, like whenever I see him, he's like, you got a little joy in your heart? It's just such a sweet thing. He's, he's a very powerful person and practitioner, but his, that's his line. You know, keep joy in your heart, no matter how hard it gets, right? They're pretty. Okay, so where are we here? I have, like I said, 15 of these. They're three and a quarter to three and a half inches. Our price is 99. Retail value 149. And it comes with the stand. Isn't that fun? Happiness in a, in a ball for you in Ocean Jasper. And the newest pocket coming out of Madagascar, which is kind of fun. You're on the leading edge. There isn't a lot of this that's already out there in the marketplace. So you're getting something that's kind of new. And like I said, the quality is insanely good. And I have seen bad quality Ocean Jasper. It's still pretty, but it doesn't have a thousand eyes. You know, so it just doesn't have the markings. 
Do you? Christopher said he suffers from severe depression and anxiety. Well, stick around, Christopher. I always do giveaways. I let my spirit guides lead me, but we have a giveaway for tonight. So stick around. Sage Goddess does so many fun giveaways and treats. So hopefully if you're in our community, you'll, um, you'll get chosen at some point. We try to spread the love as much as we can. Uh -huh. And just sending a lot of medicine, sweet medicine to your heart. Honestly, Christopher, I'm glad you're here. And I think you can feel the energy through the screen. I mean, it's part of the power of energy through crystals. I, mean, I don't know if you agree, but I think it, I think you can feel it. I really do. Um, so anyway, glad you're here. And thank you for, for speaking so that we can all wrap our arms around you tonight. Don't you love it when people are brave and they'll speak to how they're feeling? Because then it gives the rest of us permission to go, me too. <laughs> I get sad too sometimes. You know, it takes one person being brave and saying, this is how I feel. And then the rest of us can open our hearts too. So we see you, Christopher. Okay, <clears throat> where are we going next? Ooh, winners. So the agate portal slice. Agate portal slice winners. Uh huh. All right. They went to Cindy R and Medusa. Cindy R and Medusa. Congratulations. Christine, Christine G and Janelle D. Christine G and Janelle D. Cindy R and Karina M. Cindy R and Karina M. Um. Vanya mm -hmm. and Beverly E. Vanya and Beverly E. Congratulations. Madeline and Michelle P. Madeline and Michelle P. And oh, going on a journey with their portals. We do have four left of those. Okay, and there are four left of the snow agate portal pieces on stands. We have four left. And the price on those is, Alexis? 111. 111. That's right. So if you would like one, there's four left. So you have to comment sold, and then we'll add you to the list. Looks like Bridget Olson is getting one. Is that is that from you too, Sierra Martin? Let us know. And Everly May. Aren't they beautiful? So I think we have one more. If you would like it. And Helen Costas got one, I think. I think that might be the four. Okay. Awesome. Congratulations. I think those are so beautiful. I have I have one like that at home. It's a little bit smaller. Um, and every time people are in the room where it sits they grab it they want to touch it they want to be near it there's something about that snow agate it's dreamy and and so like i said those of you who got those remember me telling you you should have a candle near it because the candlelight just brings that particular piece to life you 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 it's beautiful now but wait till you see it lit you can put a candle in front of it or behind it it's so beautiful i'm glad you're having fun thank you katrina i'm glad that you're here Mwah. okay Yeah, let me show them this. So um, this is another one. I always joke and say, if you don't want it, it's okay, I'll keep it. This is another one of those. I love this necklace so much. How many of these do we have? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, good luck to me. <laughs> Sometimes when there's a couple, I stay on a chance. Um, which I'm, I'm trying to find this one. Alexis. It's number 30. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. There is only one. Okay, this is a triple row of Tibetan Herkimer diamonds. Every single crystal in this necklace is Tibetan quartz. And that's what they call it when you have those black carbon inclusions. They are all double terminated. This is like, honestly, this would invite an alien visitation. <laughs> um, Tibetan quartz. So when I um, when I was first diagnosed with MS ten years ago, um, I went to see a crystal healer friend, and my crystal healer friend at the time said, as I was asking what stone should I work with, I just got diagnosed with MS at the time, and he said Tibetan quartz, blue green kyanite, and sujolite, and udiolite if you can find it, which at the time there was no udiolite, um, and I still credit. I mean, I, my health is really, really good. I just had my full series of MRIs done, and I not only do I not have new lesions, but some of the old lesions have disappeared. And my doctor's always like, whatever your secret is, just keep doing it. I'm like, I think it's crystals. <laughs> um, I still stand by Tibetan quartz, and I still have the original piece of Tibetan, the original piece of blue-green kyanite, and the original piece of sujolite that I worked with. Um, if 
if you're healthy, is this a good piece? It is. I mean, Tibetan Herkimers, it's, it's a whole lot of energy. But if you are trying to improve your physical health, I don't know that there's a better necklace for you. And this is adjustable, so it'll go all the way from really a choker, like right about 16 inches, down to about 19 inches at its longest. Isn't that beautiful? Udialite's tough. We have Udialite, Udialite at Sage Goddess, so if you're ever looking for it, um, check out sagegoddess.com. Those Udialite and Sujalite are like the autoimmune healers. Um, no, but I'm very blessed. I mean, um, very, very blessed. But I really do credit the energy work. I credit... Um, aromatherapy, I credit Shamanic Journey, and I credit apple cider vinegar with my health. Those are my secrets. Okay, only one of these. Uh, the retail value on this is $799. Our price is $499. And I don't even know how many there are. I mean, we could count. 2, 4, 6, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, there's like at least 50. Isn't it beautiful? And that's going to Janet. Janet Hi. got that. Mm. You know, I've been around the block, Janet. I have not seen a lot of Tibetan necklaces like this. So cheers to your health and your happiness and your energy as you work with this beautiful one. Love, 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 love. May it, may it serve you well. And by the way, I would not be surprised if a couple of these little cuties in here are in hydros. Because I think I just saw a water bubble move when I set it down. And one of these um, has record keepers on it. I mean, it's, it's quite an amazing piece. And what, what, what blows my mind, the man who makes these, it's all completely jointed. And you want that in a big necklace because otherwise, if it's too stationary, it's not going to lay nicely. So it's a pain to make these, and it costs more to do it this way. But every single piece is jointed. Isn't that cool? Um, fasted Moldavite rings, if we can get them, will be after Tucson. And it's a maybe whether, whether we're going to be able to get more faceted Moldavite rings. I've been trying. You, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, like, I've been really trying to get fasted Moldavite rings, and it's tricky. Um, but we're trying for Tucson. Fingers are crossed. Oh, my God. Okay. These are my favorite. Of, Mine, too. My favorite of the entire Dude. Night. Okay. Um... <laughs> I, I shouldn't do this, but I, I want to keep one of these. Can you Which side knock the quantity down? Um, the larger one. I want to keep one of the larger okay. ones. I'll adjust it right now. Okay, so we only have five of the large ones because <laughs> I'm going to keep one. Like I said, I normally don't. Like, I really try. Alexis would tell you I've been better in recent years and not mm, keeping everything. Yeah. Um, these are holy shit. Okay. Um, let, me, let me get my flashlight so I can really put on a show for you. You ready? These are gem grade kyanite. Hold on to your hats. I don't want to blind you, but I do want to show you. These are crazy town. Do you see that? Oh good, it's showing up. With star rubies. I know, now you know where I was like, reduce the quantity by one, because I've got to keep one. I mean, it's sexy. Stick that between your boobs. For balance and passion. So that's the large size. Do you see the star and the star ruby? Isn't it beautiful? And then these. this is the medium, which is a great size too. I mean, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Melanie said, Athena, you're putting my Lude Prezi aside for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is where I feel like fairy godmother sometimes. They're, they're insane, you guys. It's really, I've never seen kyanite like this, not in a pendant. And then I want to make sure you can see the star on the rubies. It is, wait till you see these in daylight. Like I'm showing you here under artificial lights. The, these are so beautiful. There's even the imprint of a star on the back of the cabochon. Okay. I have 17 of the medium. And I have six of the large. Are you ready? No, you have five of the large. Oh, yeah. Oh, five. No, five. Yeah. <laughs> I have catch, five Hannah. of the large. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, the medium, our price is two fifty. Retail value is four hundred for star ruby and gem kyanite. 
250 and the large, as you might have guessed, is 350. Retail value of the large is close to $500. I mean, these are just crazy. The prices are nuts. But I want you guys to have them if you want one. This is something where if you really, really want it, you should be able to do it. This may be a quad pay necessity. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Never in all my days have I seen kyanite so gorgeous. And I've seen a whole bunch of kyanite. I know, right? 250 350 for the best of the best of the best. And congratulations, you guys. If you get one, you're making a really wise choice. <laughs> Even the person who made these said they probably aren't going to make them again. And he's my favorite. He's the same person who makes the, um, the mini mesa generators that he's made for the last couple of months and has made our talismans, the same man. And his energy is like, he's beautiful, his energy is beautiful, their products are beautiful. Congratulations. So Kyanite balances you. It's really good for physical mental balance if you have vertigo issues. Um, but it also balances and aligns your chakras. And then Ruby is for passion. It's the stone of the life force. So if you need passion and balance. <laughs> That's such a good combination. Oh, it's sexy. Stone, it's, like, it's, just, it's perfect. Red and blue. It's interesting. I don't know that I would have thought to put it together. Mm -mm. But when uh, you think about it, because you're right, it is the life force. And then also the balance. And it's like, uh. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's kind of like the whole package. That would be a really good one if you're depressed or anxious, right, I think, because it would balance your energy centers, and then it would, um, yeah. So anyway, enjoy. That's something that I don't think will be back, just because he's the only one who's ever made those, and he says he doesn't think he's going to be able to make them again. I do have a Moldavite necklace, though, yes, to do. show you really quickly. This would be a good headband. This would be a great headband, and I think I will have to do it for you this evening. Like, it'll look nice, and it'll also work nicely. It will. Although, I'm, again, I might, like, fly out of the building. <laughs> Moldavite with Peridot is not a combination I have seen before. One of the most powerful stones of the Synergy 12. It's the stone in my ring that you all love. This has two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of Moldavite, and then just as many cut and faceted Peridot stones in between. Abundant mm. soul travel. Isn't that cool? And it's got a toggle, so it's adjustable. Let me see if I can get this on my head without completely messing it up. My head's big, though. I don't think this one's going to fit me in, unfortunately. I can't close it. Oh. I know. I tried. You know that I tried. Shame on your head. I know. I have a big head. I really do, actually, when I was little. I have a big head. My mom used to tease me because I had a big head. It's not because my brain's that big. I really don't know why I have a big head. because your third eye is that. Yeah, it's because my third eye is big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fly. That's a good meme. My head's not big. It's just my third eye. <laughs> I like that better because I'm like, I don't know that having a big brain is like actually a good thing, but like a big old third eye, I'll take that. <laughs> the things we talk about here at SG. Okay. Um, retail value on this necklace is $5.99 for Moldavite and Peridot. Our price tonight, $4.99. Honestly, one of the prettiest Moldavite necklaces I think I've ever seen. Because I love the Peridot with it. Peridot is called the Cornucopia Stone. It's my birthstone. It's birthstone for August, sun sign Leo, right? And it's the stone of more. Peridot just brings more. It's a great stone for manifestation. And what I love, too, is it's all open on the back, so you can really see the quality and the clarity of those Moldavites, too. They're beautiful and translucent. Isn't that gorgeous? I know, I tried to put it on my head, but I could not get it to close. <laughs> so, that necklace is here for you. You know what I'm going to do? Right? If I can make that work, that, and nobody buys it, that may be where this is going to end up. I'm into this. Give me like two seconds. I think I just figured this out. And that way, if you don't want to wear it as a necklace, it actually fits perfect three times round. And I'm like a six and a half to seven inch oops, wrist. So you can see if you'd be able to do it too. Or you could do it, you know. Oh, this is good. I'm kind of into that. That looks really 
nice. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to wear that, my triple <laughs> Moldavite bracelet that I just made. <laughs> um, I don't know if we have any um, kyanite ring or kyanite necklaces left and seraphonite rings left, I'm not sure. Um, I will have Alexis tell you in just a second. We do have some seraphonite rings left. Okay, we have golden seraphonite rings left. These are the adjustable ones. This one I'm wearing on my right middle finger. Yeah, it makes a cute bracelet. It's actually super comfortable. I really like that. I don't have a, a good Moldavite bracelet. <laughs> Maybe I do now. Um, Seraphonite rings are 99 for this ring right here. And then, um, what was the other thing we were talking about that we still have left? The kyanite pendants? Oh, do we have any left of those? Uh, There's two medium. There's two medium kyanites left. Oh, come on, darling. Okay, Jan's getting a seraphonite ring. Aren't they beautiful? It's so, it's it's really delicate. Um, and at the same time, it's grounding. It's hard to describe. I've never felt a stone quite like this. I'm a little obsessed with it. But I just, I always like discovering new things too. So congrats, Jan, enjoy that one. Aren't they fun? Uh, Debbie wants my exact ring. Us, I'll, I'll give you this one. Take it right off my finger instead of the side for you, Debbie. Actually, I'm gonna leave it on, but I will. I will set it aside for you afterward. Okay. <laughs> Steph Mann said, I've been watching the gem sale while getting my nails done, and the guy doing it started getting <laughs> into it, looking at everything with me. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. <laughs> I love it. Listen, he can get into this, too. Make it awkward, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, could you finish my nails? He's <laughs> like, you can't get on that. But let him know when he's done, he can <laughs> come on over. Okay. I think. Yes, okay. This is what my team and I have been really extra excited oh about gosh, today. My, I take it back. This and the pendants are my favorite. Of the, <laughs> can't choose between the two. This one actually has a freestanding mini stalactite on it. Okay. This one's my favorite. Uh, go big. Go. I love it so much. <laughs> These are so beautiful. Okay. I like this one because you can um, you can see mm -hmm. inside of it, um, so you can actually see the formation. Okay, if you're like, what is happening over here? These are stalactites. These are calcite stalactites. Only time I've ever seen them, had them, offered them to you. I know these are. Wait till you hear the story on these. Okay, um, I have. Four of the small. I have three of the medium. The small is nine inches. <laughs> it's not really small. The medium is 13 inches. And then I have three of the large, which are 15 inches. It's weird, isn't it? It's totally <laughs> weird. It's kind of heavy. You could hurt somebody with that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, when I say small, like, that's kind of not accurate. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Vanya. She said, these are the best classes for learning and better entertainment than anything on TV. Aww. Considering what's on TV these days, you know what I mean? I, I have to say, like, come and learn about crystals and happiness. <laughs> Can I show you guys before I tell you any more about them? Can I just show you? that this one has a little dude. Can you guys see that? It is a completely separate stalactite right there. I love it. I think of these sales as like our hangout time. I really, I enjoy it. And you know, we as a team enjoy it too. Hopefully you can tell, like we really do have a good time. So cool, you guys. Okay, um, are you ready? Calcite stalactites hang from the top of the calcite caves. Um, and if you want to grab my laptop, I can show them. I don't have to show them, but I, I think you might like to see a picture of where these come from. Oh my God, can you imagine? Um, these are from Mexico. Okay. Let's see if I can blow that up a little bit to show that. That's a half 
halfway decent. Ooh, that one's cool. Yeah. Ooh, that one? Ooh, that's a good one, too. Okay. Yeah, that's a great shot, actually. Yeah, let me, I, I can't, like, get a huge picture to show you, so you'll have to kind of look at the smaller picture. But this is what it, what the cave looks like. Isn't that cool? Smithsonite comes from Mexico. That's what you're looking at. Isn't that beautiful? One drop at a time. You ready to learn about how this grows? <laughs> calcite, calcite stalactites like this grow one half inch every hundred years. One half inch every hundred years. One drop at a time. I want you to really think about that for a minute. You know, we, we look at all kinds of beautiful crystals on this show. Never had these for you before. Um, where were you? What past life were you in? What was happening with your ancestors? What was happening on this planet? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 years. 1,000 years. Like, and, and sometimes it's, we, we talk about crystals. I talk about geology a lot, right? And how long it takes your crystals to form. Uh, it's at least 3,000 years, Walter. 3,000 years. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? It is. It's humbling. It's awe-inspiring to me. This is why, like, I never get tired of what I do. My, my joy and my love for crystals is absolutely sincere. I'm because I'm mesmerized by them like I couldn't wait to bring these to you and Hannah and Alexis and all of us were just like what the fuck is that <laughs> um, okay the size small I have um, four of these our price is 199 the retail value is about 250 to own what would that be 100 200 300 400 500 600 2500 years of energy, right? Isn't that amazing? So much knowledge, so much stored energy and power. And I also like like the break line, you know what I mean? Like that was its point of connection and then just, you know, made its way, drip, 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 drip down. So incredibly beautiful. Calcite, by the way, is a stone of happiness and peace, tranquility. It's very gentle. It's like a big gentle giant. And then the medium, I have three of these, 249. And then the big jumbo, I have three of them, two ninety nine. I know. And it's what's really cool is when you have a piece like this too, share this with people in your life. Watch their eyes just go like this when you say half inch every hundred years. How much could this grow in your lifetime? Right? Maybe half an inch in your entire lifetime. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and then sit with that for a second. You know what I mean? Like it's, they're magnificent. I just, I can't get enough. And this is, this one's cut line. The cut lines are all like crystalline and sparkly. It just really, for me, it just stirs my imagination. And a beautiful piece to meditate with. And ask it to show you. Close your eyes and meditate with it and ask your crystals want to communicate with you and ask it to show you where it was and what was happening on the planet as it was forming. And then what wisdom does it have to share with you about your lineage, your ancestors, right? Puts it, what things like this do for me is they put my problems in perspective. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever get so you know wound up about something really ridiculous? Like, you know, does that ever happen to you? And all of a sudden, like, you look at something like that, and it just, it reminds you of how small you are. It keeps you from taking yourself too seriously. And it also helps you have, like, a real appreciation for our planet. She's alive, right? And she's patient. She takes her time. So congratulations to those of you who are getting those. Yeah, it would be an amazing gift for a science teacher, honestly, wouldn't it? To be able to teach geology and how stalactites form and stalagmites, which of course come up from the bottom of the cave, the stalactites hang over from the top of the cave, stalagmites come up and sometimes they meet each other. And you can kind of see that in some of the pictures that I was pulling up. 
Beautiful. Congratulations, you guys. Okay. There's just one large left. If anyone wants there's one to large go. left. <laughs> if you want one, there's one large left. It's fun, isn't it? Something really, I don't know. And then some of you have people like, I have people in my life where the holidays are really tricky. Like, what are you going to get them? They don't have a calcite, calcite stalactite. Okay, we'll let you know. I love these so much. Okay. I love it all. You know, and honestly, I do. The things in the sale are, are very carefully curated. They are really my favorite things. These I've been holding on to since Denver. So get excited. How many of these do I have? Which one is this one, Alexis? No, there's one and two. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, um, I first saw um, this crystal in, was it Denver? Yeah, it was Denver. I thought I had seen it slightly before, but I don't think so. I think it was Denver. Um, did the last one go? The last stalactite go? Yeah, they're oh. all gone. Who went? Who got that one? That was uh, Bridget, Diane, and Island Girl. Aw, and Bonnie got one. Yay! Okay, good. Okay, um, so I went up to the table where these were, and I thought it was Colombian quartz because Colombian quartz is water clear. Like, I can put my finger here and you can see my fingerprint through it. That's pretty darn clear for silicon dioxide, okay? Quartz naturally tends to become included over its growth cycle, so it tends not to be crystal clear, which is why very clear quartz is more expensive, but like these little points here, it just it reminded me of Colombian quartz. So that's what I thought they were. Um, but then I realized that all of the crystals I was looking at there were from Brazil. It was not Colombian quartz. And then I realized, I looked closer, and it had the, the Lemurian lines. Okay. So, like, I stopped everything I was doing and started to talk to the man, and he said that he had found a new pocket of Lemurian quartz in Minas Gerais, Brazil. These are Lemurians, but they are the most clear Lemurian quartz clusters that have ever come out of Brazil. And it was a very small pocket. This new pocket of Lemurian is very, very small. Um, so I, the person I bought it from um, is, is an amazing human being. I really, the whole process of learning from him and talking to him about them. And so a couple of weeks later, I had someone else reach out to me and say, I've got some Lemurian cords. It's a new find because he had bought some, this other person. And he was asking, he was trying to sell it to me for three times, almost three times what I'm selling it to you for tonight. That's what happens. Something new comes out and then immediately the, the price of it increases. So I'm selling it to you tonight based on what I paid originally, not what this other person was trying to charge for it. So you could probably turn around and just sell this and, and make some money. I would recommend that you keep it because at some point there won't be any more of this and it really is the vibration of these pieces is really intense. Like I just want you to look at this one for a minute and one of the things you're going to notice is how many different growth points and terminations there are. This one's growing this way, this one goes up, there's another one piece coming from the side here, there's a termination growing there. And then, but there's space between it all. It's like a little city of these tiny, very clear crystals. Isn't it gorgeous? And this one on the bottom has mica. There's a little bit of mica and what looks like kaolinite, maybe some actinolite. Also on the base here, some other mineral inclusions. It's just beautiful. Look at this one has these really crystal clear little babies growing up from the top of it. Totally stunning. Okay, so your price tonight on the medium, which is this size, is $99. Regular price, $149. What he would have charged, close to $300. $99 for the, the medium babies. I only have 12. And then this one is $129 for the large, and I have seven. Retail value is close to 200 what he would have charged, close to 400 Pretty amazing, isn't it? To have what is the most water eye clear Lemurian quartz 
ever. And the it's the multiple terminations that really amaze me. I mean, there's got to be at least 50 terminations on this one and at least as many on this one, too. And then there's that staircase to heaven. What's really cool is on, on these pieces, too, I hope I can show this to you. Like, you can really see the Lemurian lines. Like, the track marks, they call it the staircase to heaven. That's how you know you have Lemurian courts are these lines. Do you see how clear the lines are? I just, I've never, I've worked with Lemurian quartz for a long time, and I just have never worked with pieces like this. They're absolutely breathtaking. And you can see the lines all the way through. So anyway, aren't they gorgeous? No, Caitlin Nance, she said, did you see mold, sold Moldavite necklace? Are you taking my bracelet away? <laughs> Caitlin Nance. <laughs> <Vance. laughs> yes. Caitlin Nance, are you taking it? Okay. I'm going to wear it as my bracelet, though, till the end of the show, because I really like it. And you know what? Are you going to wear it as a necklace or are you going to wear it as a bracelet? Because hopefully I'm convincing you that it would make a very interesting bracelet. It's pretty, isn't it? She got it. Um, let's see. Who are you looking for? The Moldavite necklace. Okay. Caitlin Nance. Oh, yeah. No. Caitlin Nance. Yeah. Congratulations. And we'll come back and let you know if there's any Lemurian left, and congratulations, because those are beautiful pieces. And if I have those again, again, it's another one of those things where it's not going to be at that price. They're already moving the price through the roof, which is what happens, right? Like, and it makes you feel good about your purchase. I could, I could lose my mind looking at those pieces. They're so beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to think of what we did not get to tonight. Um, we can do the lamps. We can do the lamps. Um, yeah, let's do the lamps. I'm gonna, I don't know if I can do this. I've no, got a, I've got totally a bum shoulder. I'm just trying. Just Actually, I think. Uh, nope, I'm gonna let you do it. No, I can do it. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get this more I've injured my rotator cuff, so I am I am banned from lifting big okay. heavy things for a little while. We will let you know. Scarlet's like, I'll take whatever size. Okay, so what do you... What oh, do you do? Um, to bring the lamp closer in this way so they can see it on the screen. Like, there's, you, they can see the edge of it, but not the grid. Is it possible to move it just a little bit? Absolutely. Is it rainy? It is. Oh, oh my gosh, I haven't heard that sound in so long. I thought something was wrong. Um, I know. It's the first rainfall, I guess, in our area in six months, which is crazy. It's raining in Southern California. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. It's perfect, yeah. You did a great good. job. Yeah, right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was like, what's happening to I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We have skylights here in the classroom, and it's like a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle on the... It's pretty. It feels, it feels really nice. We do need it. It's been so dry. My poor garden is like... I've been watering so much, which, you know, I don't like to do. I don't like to waste water. It's not wasting it, but you know what I mean. Like, I need nature to water my plants once in a while. Okay. Um, this is onyx. Let's see if turning the... I don't want to have to move that anymore, but I want to get it more into your view. Hold on. I think I can, I think I can adjust it with the screen. There we go. There we go. Okay. So... What, what's fun about this is you're, tonight, if you get one of these, you're getting an onyx lamp. Um, it is, it's big. It's, what are the dimensions on the onyx lamp? The onyx is... Oh, I see it. It doesn't have a dimension on it. Oh, well, that's not one. Well, this is 15 inches. You're so smart, Alexis. <laughs> you really are. Oh, it's, a, it's also about uh, yeah, like 14. 14 inches. As the stalactite flies. <laughs> it sounded like an Alexis See, joke, didn't it? It, it has much wisdom. For us. <laughs> it, it saved us from math hell. <laughs> okay. Um, it is 14 inches by whatever that is. I'm going to call that like a nice 8 or 10 inches. Um, it comes with the bulb and a remote control. And it's a rainbow bulb. So this is the fun little remote that you get. Isn't that fun? And so you can um, let it go all the way through the rainbow. I don't know what this setting is. It's like a disco. And then you can force it into purple. You can force it into red. You can force it into yellow or gold and into, that's blue. Isn't that fun? Oh, I like that. That's kind of my favorite. 
All right. Um, now, for the same price as we've charged in the past, last time we had Onyx lamps, you are getting an entire grid because this is what I do with mine at home. I have a grid on mine. And so you're getting a substantial, this one actually has an inner child, quartz generator. And then you're getting three, five, eight, 22 stone grid as our gift. Um, your grid's gonna have different stones. This one has rubies, Larimar, there's some shungite here, there's peridot, pink tourmaline, hessonite garnet, clear quartz. We have thousands of kinds of tumbled and natural stones here, so honestly, you're gonna get something really good. I would say that this grid is worth, what would you say, Alexis? I mean, this has, um, 70 dollars yeah. i would say it's probably 70 dollars it's probably a 70 dollar free gift i know um it's it's pretty awesome so i have 13 lamps oh and it ships for free of course don't forget 240 dollars which is the price of the lamp that comes with the bulb and the rainbow remote control and then you get the what i would say is probably a 60 to 90 dollar grid depending on what we put into it as our gift isn't that fun so you could give someone the lamp as a gift and then keep the grid. My hope is that you will keep both because I actually think it's really cool to grid on that. Onyx, this stone is for strength and grounding and protection. Onyx is a very powerful protection stone. Uh, this is all rainbow onyx from Mexico um, and these are handmade. When I was in Mexico, I was at the factory a couple of weeks ago. How long ago? I guess it was in Mexico a month ago now. Time goes by so fast. Um, but I actually got to see how they make these lamps, and it's an incredible process. <laughs> and it is. Every single step of it is done by hand. Isn't it beautiful? I know. So if you've ever been on the fence about a lamp, we're doing some fun things for the holidays like free jewelry in the gift boxes and free grid with the um, lamp. But I think this makes the ultimate, ultimate altar and base for a grid. And then when you get this, put your grid on there and wait for nighttime because it makes all of the stones in your grid glow. It is so beautiful, so enjoy. Isn't that cool? The price is nuts. It's nuts. And and next time I do lamps, we probably won't do a grid, so keep that in mind. These are our little holiday things for you. <laughs> right? Congratulations, you guys. We'll let you know who got those. Um, and then I wanted to, what, what did you want to do next? I was going to do the generator. It's behind the lamp. I'm, I'll pick it up for you. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We should show you this. I want to help you more, and I don't know how to help oh, you. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. I got this. This one's not that heavy. It's just a little bit. We had, um, of the lamps, we had a total of 13 lamps. Okay. Now, you have to see this generator. Let me figure out what number this is. Sorry, Alexis, hold on. That's okay. Um, oh, it's number 24. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is the big star of the show. This is a rutilated quartz generator with low to light and phantoms. It's really so here's the phantoming. This is lithium in here, kaolinite, actinolite, and I think there's lapidolite in there too. That's my theory. The phantom goes all the way around. If you can turn it like just slightly that way, I don't know if you can see, but the phantom goes all the way down into here. Isn't it beautiful? So our price, which is actually on the crystal, my sheet says thirty six eighty. That says thirty six eighty two. So we're giving you two dollars off tonight. <laughs> um, can we show them the retail though? Yes. I know it's heavy. No, that's okay. I think Let's it's the other side. Yeah. Just get a good grip on it. Alexis has muscles of steel. <laughs> I know it's really hard. There's a ton of um, rutile, and there's also a little bit of hematite and some gothite in there. It's gray and silver rutile, which is also known as Venus hair. That is the rarest generator, I believe, that we've ever done in a gem sale before. Um, if it wasn't rutilated, it would probably be more in the $2,000, $2,500 range. The retail value on a rutilated generator that size is close to 6K. Isn't it incredible? That would be an amazing lamp, 
<laughs> I mean, at least to have an LED stand or something that you, because when, when you light that up, there are thousands of little rutile bands and beams in there. Isn't it incredible? So I think that, is the cake on it. that is the piece of the night. <laughs> it is something else, I will say. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. All right. So did Nikki get that? She commented before the price. So we All right. Well, Nikki, we're, we're not going to hold you to it. You can let me know. <laughs> well, you'd, uh, it would crush a, a tiny LED stand, Amy Arabia, but what I would do is I would probably create something custom for that. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be too hard. You'd have to really just have some wood and carve a nice hole in it and then put an LED light under it and then sit the crystal on that. You could polish that or stain it, but I would do something like that for it. Okay, good. Yeah, we're not holding you to it, <laughs> but that is for someone who really wants unique collector the the person that um that sold that piece to us even said like that was a piece that normally he would have kept in his collection it's it's truly one of the more rare generators that's come out of brazil in the last five to ten years isn't it beautiful all right it's someone's it's someone's child okay um we will come back and let you know and then i have something beautiful to show you Janet. 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 Honestly, Janet, it could compete with some of your pieces, mm -hmm. I would say. I think that even in Janet's home, I think that piece can hold its own. Congratulations, Janet. It's going to an amazing home. Janet's quite a curator, so yes. <laughs> Congratulations, we are so happy for you. So, so, so happy for you. Let's see here. All right, now I have something really beautiful to show you. This is, it takes my breath away actually. Um, does anybody want to guess what this is? I could tell you, but then the teacher in me won't be satisfied. Can anybody guess what this beautiful cluster is made of? Janet, it's a great guess. The first person to guess correctly is Amy Arabia. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> this is scolocyte. Isn't that stunning? And you can't buy it because I'm giving it away. This is tonight's giveaway. It is so beautiful. I love Scolocyte. Good night, Kelsey, thank you. Scolocyte is a member of the Synergy 12 and it is the stone of energetic clearing and purification in the Synergy 12. It is, is a powerful stone for physical healing and recovery. It enhances your intuition. <laughs> I don't even know how much this would cost, honestly, but you don't have to worry about it. What I will tell you is be very gentle with it. Be very gentle because scolocyte is a lot of things, but strong it is not, right? Um, but it's, it's an amazing crystal. Like when you really look at it, I mean, it's just needles and needles and needles and needles of this magnificent magic. Isn't it gorgeous? I know. Miss Cupcake, you should collect the 12. I have the 12 on a grid and I use it all the time because when the 12 come together, they really do create some magical energy, I have to say. Um, I don't have big pieces on my grid. I have little teenies, but it's still the 12 together. It's, it's a good goal to have. I know. Isn't she gorgeous? Woo. All right. Where's she going? Who's claiming this lovely lady? So, so, so beautiful. Yeah, just be careful, be gentle with it. Don't go throwing this at people. You know. <laughs> all right. Let's see, oh, lineage healing all day long. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's see where this is wanting to go home to. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I know where this is going. I have that little buzz up my spine. This is going to Angie Silva. Because you know what? It feels transformed in your presence too. This, it's funny, there's, a, there's like a homing energy of this crystal was when I first picked it up and like sensed its energy, it, it's like it's trying to get home. And so I think you feel transformed in its presence because I think you're the right home for it. And I think it, it equally wants to claim you. So thank you for giving it a good home. Really, really, really happy for you, Angie. Isn't it beautiful? And you know, I mean, it's what's really cool too is everybody who's here can, can celebrate you and be happy for you too. I have something else in mind for Christopher. I have something else in mind for Christopher. I actually do, Christopher. So is, uh, is Christopher still there? Where are you at, Christopher? Um, Christopher, if you'd be so kind as to send in a message with your shipping address, I would like, I have something in mind. Spirits leading me to something. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to be kind of sleuthy about it. Um, and welcome to you. Charguth says, first time buyer, don't know how I pay. So make sure you have an account at sagegoddess.com. And then you can just say sold, and then you'll get an invoice, and you pay it, and we ship everything to you. And shipping's free in the U.S. and five dollars per item outside. That's kind of how it rolls. Yay! Is Christopher still here? He's there. There you are, sweetheart. Okay, good. And I hope you enjoy what I've got for you. A little bit of peace coming your way. Just a little, but something made with love, put together with love for you. Okay. Go over winners, and that we have a few things that are left over that we can talk about. And then do we I have any? That, about... that was everything, though, wasn't it? Oh, peach moonstone spheres is the only thing we didn't get to. I think. Do you want to do that, or do you want? To do you guys want peach things? moonstone spheres? Anybody want a peach moonstone sphere? All right. Do you want to go through winners and leftovers? Let's yes, do that. Okay. Let's see that. Okay. Heather's like, I want it. Deanne's like, I want it. <laughs> it's um, it's good for sexual expression. You know, if you're trying to raise some kundalini, I can show you what the spheres look like. Let me just show them real quick. And um, it's a good one. We don't always have peach moonstone spheres. I don't have a lot of them. I have 18 total. The price is really good. Oops. Sorry. Did I <laughs> drop it on your hand? No, it I'm so sorry. It did look like you were trying to throw it at me, though. <laughs> I really <wasn't>. <laughs> <laughs> um, These are absolutely beautiful. These are um, Madagasi. These are from Madagascar. Um, peach moonstone. And to show you the side they always have a little bit of like this sheen on the one side and these harsh overhead lights it's hard to um, show you but let me see if I can get it to play on camera so this is the medium I have 13 of these Let's see if you can see the flash but it might be tricky with artificial lights there you go a little bit of it there you kind of yeah there you can kind of see it and then this is the um, this is the large, and I have five of these, and again, they come with the clear quartz stands. So the uh, medium retail value is 59, our price is 44, and the large, our price is 56, retail value is 74. 44 and 56 for Peach Moonstone in the stand. So this is for Sexual expression, kundalini energy, tapping into your sacral chakra, activating passion and creativity. This is to like rev your engine a little bit. It's good to meditate with. It's actually good just to place on your sacral chakra. But you know, at different ages, and, and women think it only happens to women, but men struggle with libido and desire and, and function too as they go through middle age. And so sometimes you do need to rev your engine a little bit. It's a sex ball. You know for people who need that some people are juiced they don't need this <laughs> you know too much juice for them is going to create some other problems that they don't they don't necessarily want to encounter right but some people need the juice and this is a good form of it peach moonstone orange calcite is another good one but peach moonstone is different orange calcite is more about the physicality of desire peach moonstone is the energetics of desire 
it's one thing to get your bits and pieces working. You know, it's another thing to actually feel. And so if you're trying to reconnect, this is Shakti energy. It's really primal Kundalini energy, right? Yvonne doesn't need it. Good. I mean, honestly, congratulations. If you don't need it, that's great. The rest of us, you know, can use a little pickup every now and then. <laughs> so um, will it help with separation? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, for sure, right? Spessartine Garnet's great for the energetics, too. It's just expensive. Um, I mean, you couldn't... A, a Spessartine Garnet sphere this size is going to run you multiple thousands of dollars. That's just expensive. So this is a, a more affordable way to get your juice. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, good. Okay, so that was the last official thing. And then we'll do winners and we'll do leftovers and let you know what's still available. Yes. So we have a couple of rings left over. Okay. But since there's a handful of them and it's kind of confusing, we were thinking about doing a post on the event page and the first okay. people to comment there. Okay. So at the after the after the stream, we'll okay. post that on the event page. Okay. So there's a few rings left over. What what my team's going to do in just a couple minutes here when we sign Actually, off. I'm doing it now. Oh, she's doing it now. On the event page, she's going to post what we have, and then you can comment there. And she and I will go over there after and, and collect up these solds. And so if you would like any of the rings that are left, you're going to want to go to the post that's on the that's on there. Isn't my glass beautiful? It's chipped. It's an old vintage um, Mosier glass. And I love it. Even though it's chipped, I still use it because I just think it's beautiful. It was a gift from someone special who knows I love vintage like goblet type things. Um, is onyx a form of calcite? No, they're different. Um, geologically, metaphysically, different. Onyx is harder. Calcite is softer on the measure of hardness scale. Not by a lot, but it's a little softer. <sighs> I love it when you guys ask questions because it really... Um, Christopher's asking the best way to reach us with the mailing address. What would be the best way for him to send it in, would you say? Sub uh, submit a request at support.sagegoddess.com. Yeah, so still going through. Okay, yeah, so our, our primary customer service portal is support.sagegoddess.com. And so submit a request there and then put in there that this is your address to be given to me. And then as soon as I get that, I will send your package off to you. Mm -hmm. Um, the event page, can you guys put a link up for the event page just so that they, maybe they didn't know where the event page was and that way they can head over and check out. Okay. Um, is there anything else that's left they're asking other yes. than rings? We have, um, we have one golden sheen obsidian sphere left. One golden sheen sphere. For $79. For $79 that comes with the stand. This is for shadow integration clearing clears the energy field also heals tears in the aura so this is for somebody who's going through a challenging time and just wants to feel a sense of purification this golden sheen is one of the best for that okay and we have um six smithsonite smithsonite and topaz pendants left okay these this is definitely i'm glad there's a few of these left smithsonite with blue topaz pendants we have six of these left Smithsonite, remember, it soothes, relieves stress, brings clear vision, enhances clairvoyance, helps you to release and detox, and through the detoxification brings you clarity in your life. And then blue topaz is protection and throat chakra. So this is like feeling safe while you're channeling and speaking your truth. It's open on the back. It's really beautiful. So these were, the price on this one, Alexa, 79, right? Yes. Yeah, $79. We have six left. $79, six left. Six left. All right. And then the last thing we have left is five hematite generators. Okay, and then the last thing left tonight, five hematite generators. Five of these babies. This is really good if you need grounding. If you feel flighty or anxious, these are $49. They're three to three and a half inches. And it really is the most powerful grounding stone. Hematite's also really good for blood circulation. Like if you have swelling or edema, touch hematite to the area that gets swollen. It really does help to um, promote the healthy circulation of energy, healthy circulation of blood. Um, I always tell people if you have to have the transfusions or infusions where they need to get a good vein, hold bloodstone in one hand and hematite or hematite in the other hand. 
um, because they both sort of bring blood to the surface, open up and dilate the veins, make it easier to, uh, to get a line in, <laughs> if you need to know that. Yeah, it would be really good. Can you imagine hematite socks? It's like a weighted blanket, kind of. This has weighted blanket energy. That's how I would describe this. So if you're flighty, floaty, not focused, and you're trying to get focused, really good for that. Fairy rings, I think, are gone. Um, I think the peach moonstone spheres gone. are gone. Um, the fairy rings are on, are, are on the event. Oh, there are fairy rings. So as of now, we have 12 left and just comment on the event page. We have 12 fairy rings left, and so if you go to the link on the event page, you can comment sold there, and we will make sure that you get one. These are the fairy rings. These are starlight crosses. Aren't they beautiful? Staros in Greek means cross, and so it, the theory of these, you know, people have been working with starlight for thousands of years, but the, the reigning story is that when Christ was crucified, the fairies cried, and their tears fell to the ground as fairy crosses. And so that's the legend with this. It's protective, it's grounding, it's lineage medicine, ancestral medicine. Aren't they fun? So be sure that you say sold over on the event page though, because I don't know if you guys are counting the solds from here. Yeah, we're only counting on the event page. I okay, think. they're only counting solds on the event page. Um, yeah, did you guys hear about this? I, I meant to tell you tonight. Oh, I don't think I have my little bells to show you. They're on my Mesa. It doesn't really matter. But um, right now, when you place orders on sagegoddess.com until December 15th, um, quite a few of you are getting bells. <laughs> There's a lot of bells. And if you get a bell in your package, it means you get a free gift. So if you hear your package jingling, you need to look carefully because there's going to be a free perfume or a free candle or a free piece of jewelry or a free gemstone. And then you get a card. And if you return your card, every order gets a card. If you return your card, you're entered to win this $1,000 dream sage goddess um, set of tools that's going to be custom created for you. And it includes a one hour reading with me. It's your 2020 preview live telephone reading with me, and then you get $1,000 worth of Sage Goddess craziness. So when you get your packages, be sure you send your card in, and you can enter as many times as you want. Every time you place an order from November 15th to December 14th, I think it is, or 15th, you're going to get a card. So you can send in as many cards as you want, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I am literally going to put things together for you based on what you need and what you want. So well, that's going to be a fun surprise. And I will videotape the drawing. I did that last time, remember? That was super fun. I, I made a video of me drawing the winner of our last um, big giveaway like that. So, okay. I think that's all. I think that's it. Well, I hope you guys had fun tonight. Did you enjoy yourselves? I hope you did. There's a couple things on the website that I want to point you to. The main one, and I will tell you, it's the most affordable thing that we will talk about tonight. But I'm telling you about this. These are on the website. The people who are in the know are in the know, and they've already been shopping for them. Um, this is Golden Healer Lemurian. It is golden. Um, this was mined out, so this is old stock. Do you see how they're really, they're golden, right? Um, and so, and the, the woman whose father originally mined the golden healer is someone I know. And um, so I have one larger piece from her father's original find. But this doesn't really exist anymore. So my remaining stock, which is old stock of these points, is on sagegoddess.com under today's new offerings. And your code for today is something for something percentage off. 18 gather. 18 gather for 18% off. Um, and then if you get a golden Lemurian quartz point, you can get a card and send it in and enter to win the giveaway, right? Or maybe get a bell with your golden healer. But this is the number one thing over on the website. I would say don't miss that because when, when we run out of our supply of the golden healers, there's no more of that. Uh, Eddie wants to know who got the lamps. Can we do that? Is it Eddie or Edie? The lamps Ronnie B and Candace M. Ronnie B and Candace M. Congratulations. Faze Nikki and Marcy D. Faze Nikki and Marcy D. Teresa 
Teresa VK and Medusa. Teresa VK and Medusa. These, this is for the um, onyx lamps with the grid. Anna R and Arabella. Anna R and Arabella. Nicole Ross and Everly May. Nicole Ross and Everly May. And was it, did we, was it Sammy Joe or Sammy Joe? Sammy Joe. Okay, Sammy Joe and Rita. Sammy Joe and Rita. <laughs> Graciela V. And Graciela V, congratulations. Uh, makeup jewel. A couple people don't have Facebook, so they can't go to the event page and comment. They're saying, um, "I know." Okay. Well, um, we will sort all of that out in the morning. Okay. So any like if there's, we'll, we'll sort yeah. If there if there's leftover rings, yes. I think they'll be able to come back and track it and find you here. So yes. we'll do that. Okay. Hey, Roberto Soto. He's asking about tips for getting grounded. Uh, that's why I was talking earlier about hematite. I don't know if you've worked with hematite, Roberto, but this is my, my favorite grounding stone. The only caveat about it, though, is that you don't want to, like, sometimes it can be too grounding. Um, but you know what? The best way to get grounded, honestly, and all of you should know this, is you have to touch bare earth with your feet at least once a day. And I know it's hard when it's snowing and everything else, but... Um, what some of my clients do is during the winter when they can't really get bare feet and go outside, they actually have like a little pot of soil in their house where they will like touch their hands and their feet to it just to stay grounded. Work with plants, work with nature, try to spend as much time in nature as you can. Um, eating helps, but eating only really helps when you're eating healthy, nourishing foods. Working with stones like hematite and onyx and petrified wood, those are really good stones for grounding too. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. Always happy to answer your questions. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. And thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We really enjoyed it. Any winners that we did not announce tonight live, we will announce tomorrow on the event page. So you can look forward to that. Yeah, put your feet in the snow. Be, uh, be brave, you know. <laughs> but we always love having you here. So thank you so much for being here with us. Um, tomorrow is class day for Soul Shift. If you're in my online programs, you can get excited about class happening tomorrow. I will look forward to seeing you guys then. Make sure you have your mala with you. We're going to be reciting our mantra tomorrow. And then we are making despacho. Uh, in preparation for a despacho ceremony honoring Pachamama who's been our guide all month long in November. So if you're in class, I will see you there tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you soon.